Two minute warning. Good evening and welcome. So let me first fix the hype train count. Oh, I, there's always something. I've been standing here chatting with you and I was like, I, I've done all the things in preparation, but I haven't. So I've missed one thing. So we'll need to fix that. And there, and I will end at 5.45. There we go. Nine hours. Nine hours. That doesn't make sense. That's definitely not correct. And that's a little bit at 1.45. That's what we wanted. There we go. And click out. Yes. There we go. That still running. Minimized. Cool. All right, uh, that's one thing. Uh, yeah, my eyes are a little bit wet because I'm taking stuff for my eye infection and then just only now put in my contact lenses. So we're, we're good, we're good. Um, I want to do something. And then there'll also be a notification to need to fix a nightbot command. Login. Welcome, good evening, good to see you. Well prepared as always. Man, this has been a hectic day. But I managed to have one with the kids, um, watch the, the entire Harry Potter 5 movie with the kids and make pizza with them and uh, like make homemade pizza, of course, and get some sleep during the day because they got here at eight in the morning. Um, and now I'm here. So it's it's all good. It's all good. Uh, I need to find this. There. Uh, Stream. Uh, yeah. Three minutes. Plus thirty min for level six plus. There. It's updated, and then we can do the command here. DSP hype. There we go. So what I've done, and I didn't think I would have to do that, but I have. Um, I've said that every. Hype train level adds 15 minutes, but then I've also said that, you know, level six plus adds 30 minutes instead. So that's, that's the thing. Hey, ideas of March. Thank you for the 1000 bits. Did you notice the end credits of today's video that your name was changed? And well, well done Twitch. Twitch is edging closer and closer to taking third position uh, on the leaderboard. Indeed, good. Well, indeed to you, you're the one who are, who are supporting me. You should have the right name there if, if at all possible. So, um, too much talk for pre-release gave you an eye infection. No, it was the other way around. Um, it I've been I've been sick for uh, the previous week. Like I don't know, the usual the stuff that ev that everyone has. It seems like everyone's got either corona or the seasonal flu or s the cold or something. Uh, some everyone's got something, and uh, me too. And then I th was just getting past it. I was like, yeah. And then a raging eye infection. So I couldn't wear contact lenses and that sucks. So yeah, does it re uh, apply retrospectively? Retrospectively? Retroactively. Yes, it does. That's why it says there. That is one hour and 45 minutes. It was uh, one 15 minutes last time. And then I added that. Added the one and a half hour from the extra uh, levels. Level six, seven, eight, nine. 10. No, it's actually too much. I am cheating. There. Good. There you go. And uh, mostly Simeon. Thank you for the 1000 bits. Well done, Twitch. Getting closer to the 10k bits uh, just in these two days. Yeah, nice. I cured my flu, but now I face my nemesis, the dry cough. Yeah, you can, uh, you can have fun with that for quite a while. Quite a while. That's the part like... After you are done with the cold, you can they have the sniffles or sore throat or coughing for like a month or so. And it's just lovely. You can just have fun with that as well. So most other things you're going to have fun with is uh, my new video. <laughs> wow, what a transition comparing the seasonal flu to my videos. They are just as viral. Uh, unfortunately not. I wish they were, but nope. Uh, isn't there? Oh, okay. New bit. Thank you, Grandic. There we go. A new video is the start of my Let's Play series for for uh, for Dyson Sphere. It will sort of follow along uh, for this uh, series. And I'll basically be releasing a video every day. I'm a little bit unsure about tomorrow because I, we're celebrating my daughter's birthday because everyone was sick last week weekend. So we're going to be celebrating it tomorrow at my parents' place. So I have to get up really early. And that's kind of not compatible with getting to bed at 4 a.m. Maybe. I mean, not quite 4 a.m. So, yeah. 
Better than the flu. How's it doing? They're, they're still around. They're still there. So, thank you. I have to listen, but uh, hardly ever get a chance to catch you on Twitch. Really looking forward to seeing where you go with the new DSP update. Yes, I'm going to space. That's where I'm going. Not a big surprise, but uh, that's where we go. Right. So, what do we have? Uh, have both of you Well, it's a, it's a while ago. It's 11. It's a 13 days ago. Like, no, 10 days ago. 10 days ago. That's a long time ago. But we were just, all of us were sick. So, we didn't want to hang out with my mom, who's immunocompromised. Not, not a great idea. But thank you. Um, Sunday AM here. Uh, work needs to be need to doing that soon. Ooh, Sunday work. Mm, okay. So, ideas. Ideas of March. Mm. Uh, it. Well, there's always something that needs to be updated, right? Uh, there's some new blueprints about the update. Well. Um, what the, yeah, yes, I don't know. What games content are you most excited about 2024? I'm not excited about anything except license for program right now. This is what I do. I am, I think it's unhealthy to be in the middle of something amazing and then start looking forward to the next, like sitting there Christmas Eve and, and go like, ooh, I'm looking forward to New Year's. No, no, no. Stay in the moment, be present, be tantric. Don't think about the past, don't think about the future. Enjoy the present and be present. That's what I strive to do. So I'm not really looking too much forward into 2024 because no matter what, there'll be some big surprises and there'll be some uh, big letdowns anyway. Uh, what we can do is we can enjoy the fact that we are in the middle of the launch weekend for Dyson Sphere program, The Dark Fog. From the first second we heard about it, it sounded absolutely amazing. And now that it's here, it's just as amazing as we, um, as we thought, right? <sighs> Don't think about your next meal when eating your meal you're eating. <laughs> yes, get. Get that. <laughs> uh, DSP, uh, if you want a seat, it's DSP seat because there's a, there, are, there are seats for all games. So there we go. Uh, what the, our settings are um, is we have a good seat. I'm very happy with it, I think. A resource is 0.5 because I think there are too many resources in the normal setting. Um, and then we have uh, aggressiveness set up to sharp. Could have probably set it to rampage without too much trouble. At least that's what it looks like now. And then density set to two. I don't think about your next girlfriend. <laughs> don't think about your next ex-wife. <laughs> Handle the current ex-wife first. Don't think about the next one. <laughs> Yes, there are lots of good things. Let's let's stay in the moment, right? Let's uh, be uh, focused on enjoying the moment. So, it's really good, but it does feel like an appetizer of a pulled spaghetti. I don't feel like it. I don't it feel like it feels like an appetizer. I feel like this is very much complete. And sure, going into space and uh, battling the hives is probably not a great idea. And there's something here, but it doesn't feel like an appetizer at all. This feels like a good, solid main course. There, there we go. I'm continuing your. Uh, Food analogies. They find it remarkable how well this update is as it was free. They could easily have been the first paid DLC. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I also get a lot of comments on my video like, oh, yet another game ruined with needless combat. I was like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> that's uh, that's the satisfactory crowd that's been coming in strong with their, their all their <laughs> satisfactory fanboyism. <laughs> they just turn it off. I mean, yeah, you can also say that that's, they spend a year on developing something. And if you don't want to see combat, I, I can understand it if they sort of imagine, okay, imagine playing Fortnite right when it came out. Like, oh, it's about like a building uh, fortifications and, and the repelling the zombie attacks. And then it turns into a battle royale. Like, oh, when is the other thing coming? The thing that you promised, the thing that was supposed to be, but it never came. Uh, Pumarengo, thank you for the 21 months. Yeah, when it comes, I have seen in all updates with people who don't know, it can be turned off. Yeah, I, I mean, the thing is, welcome to the internet. The people who uh, are, the people who are more likely to be commenting are the ones who are fanatically agreeing or fanatically disagreeing, and fanatically agreeing is 
usually not something that provokes an answer, a, a comment. And sometimes it's like, oh, great job. Thank you. Oh, I'm really looking forward to it. Or well done. Yeah, but you know, most just hit the like button and that's, that's all there is to it. And that's fine. But it's the people who are like, all right, rolling up the sleeves. All right. Well, actually, <sighs> internet warriors. So it is okay if you are not uh, not interested in in the combat mechanic. I think it's excellent, and it is way more, way better integrated than in Factorio. And you can just like, there's something appealing today. I wanted to get a screenshot of me shooting the base, but unfortunately, I had a older shot the base and it didn't have a save so i had to sort of wait for the base to be reconstructed so i sat there for basically i'm doing other stuff like managing save games and that kind of thing and i was just looking at the base being built and it was just compelling just like ooh, ooh, is it, ooh there's built in a causeway mm, ah, okay oh 100 i wonder what's gonna build that Ooh, a ranger camp Ooh, i wonder what that is like it, there's there's something to it like it's compelling it's not just like oh it's a generic hive that spawns spiders yay um, and this interaction with, you can see that the hive is actually sending out a relay station that goes out, finds a spot, sets it up, builds a place. It is so well integrated. It, it just, it sort of tells the story. They could just be like, spawn, there we go. But there is a, there's this whole integration of, of they have their own logistics system with energy and matter that sort of goes back and forth. It's super cool. Um, three, three, zero. Perfect pronunciation. Welcome. Thank you for the prime. Welcome. I know if I will ruin my environmentalist achievement run if in the new update, if I fill up the holes, I have no idea what that achievement is. So no idea. Uh, oh no, you haven't played your PC is broken. Oh no, the horror. That sounds awful. Um, so one thing I'd like to do today while we're playing, this is just a little comment for the few people who have showed up here, is that I will keep a document open with tips and tricks for Dark Fog. And uh, I've already added some, but if we find something that's like, oh yeah, that's cool, we can actually do that. Or, oh right, uh, another one. Um, battlefield analysis space is just extra construction drones. So I have like manually construct with the uh, hold left click. We have filtering of inventory slots. We have the signal tower, extend the range of turrets. We have to test that. And then uh, placing thermal power plant in the hole after the planetary base leaves. And then the analysis, the battle analysis for extra construction drones. So other things, giveaway today. Yes, there's a giveaway today, uh, again today. So I hope one of the moderators will raise their hand and uh, see if, um, if they are What is that battlefield center thingy? You could see it on my YouTube video. It's just a big building that you're supposed to supposed to build near your defensive line so that it will sort of pick up all the stuff they will repair automatically and it will pick up stuff left by uh, the enemies as they die. Some turret tip videos, pretty please. I don't know what turret tip videos. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll make a turret tip videos. I can make it a YouTube show like build missile turrets. They're fucking awesome. That's not even 30 seconds. There we go. Basically robot ports. Exactly. They're basically robot ports. And they come pre-installed with 12 drones. And that's amazing because you're running around with like six, seven of them. So super amazing. YouTube <laughs> short clip. Yeah, it's like everything you need to know about turrets in Dyson Sphere program. Build missile turrets. They're fucking awesome. Done. None, none trending on YouTube guaranteed. No. Well, oh, by the way. And uh, welcome ZZYXTV. I love that name. Um... Twitch has uh, has caved and rolled back their uh, their policy changes because Twitch turned into furry porn. What a surprise! What a surprise! Well, we uh, we think that they should be allowed to draw genitalia as long as it is uh, in an artistic way. Enter the furry porn genre. <laughs> oh my god, that is just. And like that lasted for exactly one day, and they were like, "If only we would have known." It's like it's the fucking internet. What do you expect if you allow people to draw naked stuff? It's all the furries that come out because the furries apparently they pay for their porn art. I don't know why, but that's that's. If if I was an artist, I'd be drawing furry porn because there's a lot of money in that. 
Yeah, they're lurking and they came out of the woodworks in force. <laughs> yeah, just uh, just cannot be limited. They've been able to be limited for uh, ever and ever and ever from the very, very beginning. <laughs> Kitty ears overlay. Oh, no. I don't think I... Uh, after the hype train yesterday, I don't need to do that. So, sorry. You kind of ruined the, your, your chances of me being desperate enough to be like... I should be all nude and then just have the camera here and then I, I can... I, I, I'll jiggle for five subs. That's that's the new stuff, right? <laughs> rule 35. No, I haven't heard about rule 35. It sounds like one-off, but rule 34, we absolutely have <laughs> only factories. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> It is just, it's so funny. It's so funny that Twitch thought that that people would be responsible when they go like, yeah, sure, artistic nudity is, is fine as long as you keep it artistic and aesthetic. And like, all right, well, open the floodgates. <laughs> oh, I mean, how? Twitch makes money on it. No, they don't. Because who are the first ones to complain when Twitch turns into a porn site? The ad the ad uh, agencies and they are not um they are not going to be happy to put their uh, whatever the gaming paraphernalia on uh, on jiggling boobs and if they wanted to do that they would be advertising somewhere else where there's a much better click through rate and much cheaper ads so yeah thank you got no beaches that's how they pronounce it, right? Thank you for the five gift subs. Much appreciated. Yeah. So it is, uh, we'll start seeing hot singles in your area ads. Yes. Well, you know, there is a hot single in my area. <clears throat> but don't tell me. I know. I know already. Tell all the other ones that there is a hot single in, in, the, in my area. Somehow that doesn't... I just take it as a compliment. Uh, that said that there was someone joining on Patreon, but I didn't see any notification here. But um, I went to insist that someone joined on Patreon. So thank you if you just joined on Patreon. I can't see any event, but uh, Wayne June insists so. So that's nice. How many subs for a date with Neos? That's, um, I, you know, I don't really do prostitution, but um, but thanks for uh, for implying that. That's a... Uh, I may be... Uh, Maybe offering entertainment for a, for a, for a, uh, what is it? Busking, busking. I mean, I, I'm busking, busking. That's, that's what it is. But uh, I don't really do escort, but uh, you know, it's, it's always worth trying. I, I guess. Yeah. If you are the only single in your area. Yeah. Well, it doesn't help. Yeah, I hate escort missions. I hate escort missions. Oh my god! I hired an escort, and we're just like we're walking back to my place. It was so slow. It's like, come on, come on, ah, oh, just run a bit. Come on, oh, they just they turn around. No. Come on, come on. That's a, that's escorts for you. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> yeah. So don't hire. Don't do escort missions. They suck. They always have. <laughs> yep. Mm, that thirty minute. Oh, yep. <laughs> On with the game. Oh, fuck off. Returned. Fuck off. You you really insist to be a, a first-time chatter and tell me when to play the game. And how to run my uh, how to run my channel. You know what? There are tons of other uh, channels. You're welcome to go there. And they will be doing it. I will be... And it's definitely not 30 minutes. But it will be 30 minutes. Thank you. TSI Kelowna, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Thank you for your generosity yesterday as well. And Nabi, uh, continuing gifts up. Well, well, well. Well done, Srema, for the recruiting. <laughs> Fire factory building class. Actually, I was considering doing that at some point, but you know, it's it's really not worth my time. I am, I am, I'm not interested in doing that. I, I was considering it like, oh, and at some point I actually had it as sort of a, a reward on Patreon or something like that. Like, oh, let's do, a, is it coming from Whisper? Uh, yes, but. It, it's all it's better if you comment if you quote it because then i can find it because i didn't find it first time and i didn't uh, i can't find it now that's me this instant 
figure at support. Oh, there we go. There, whisper DSP. Ah, right. There we go. There's you. There we go. And good evening, Bathek. Uh, are they? And he's playing with his food, making a factory layout with spaghetti. Uh, right. Well, weird. You just imagine that. Hey, uh, it said he was the new patron. Ah, the comments. So yeah, okay. Welcome, Whisper DSP. Thank you. They were just someone triggering me, and and then I just narrowed in and laser focus on the stuff that triggered. But I think we got bully them out of the chat here. First time chatter. Let's see if it's a better first time chatter. Welcome. I'm first time. Also first time chatter. Never would have the idea to well to ask when someone finally plays the game. Uh, some chatter is pretty normal and nice. And hello there. Hello. I don't know if this has been asked, but what do you think if Dyson Sphere had a multiplayer mode? I mean, you'd have to have friends and I don't have friends, so it doesn't really help me much. I. It would be a massive effort and I'd much rather have the combat, um, the combat mode than I'd have multiplayer. So it's about development resources and they've designed it as a single player game. So. Wearing any binding today? Binding? Don't get that. Made a new type of factory. Missiles. Never been done in this way before. It's extremely space. Never been done this day before. It's literally been out for one day. So I think it's pretty fair to say that you built something that no one ever have done before. It's pretty fair. <laughs> uh, it's just not from the publisher, but there's a mod. Yeah, there's a mod that works apparently, which is crazy that you can mod that. So... Man of my heart. Hate it when good single player games try to incorporate uh, multiplayer at the expense of single player experience. I don't know. It's some play. I, I can definitely see that it would make sense and be fun to play it as a multiplayer, but I don't play multiplayer, so it doesn't have any appeal for me. So, you know. Um, I'd rather have this than anything else, so I'm perfectly happy with what we have. And I'm super happy. Cool. Right. So, plan for today. We are going to. We have Nice and Quiet Planet. And let's just jump into the game, if you don't mind. That's okay with you. Anyone object? I don't think I can do continue. Then I'll land in the weird save game I was looking at. Uh, dark fog. That one. I cleaned up the bus a little bit uh, after today. Whoop. Uh, there and oh, let's ah. I just need the events overlays. There we go. Oh, a new annual whisper TSP it was a new annual night of the path. Thank you and welcome. Right, so this miserable little uh, hellhole of a planet, it's our home. Power is surprisingly good. Let's just go through what we have. I built this part. Someone mentioned it last time, um, and it looked. Uh, I tried it and it looked really nice. So just keep cleaning up. Uh, just getting a little more here. There's one thing that was missing. There was a gap. That one wasn't here. So we also built this. Let's actually get some of those in our inventory, and then we continue down here and get all the glorious things. Oh, oh I thought that. Oh, this copper. Oh, that doesn't help anyone. And we have a few more lined up. We have the red and blue. Need to enable it again. Uh, let's see. It would be nice if you could actually... Oh, I want that. Uh, let's see if it was red, green. Like, you have to click it before you know... Or you could also just know it by hand. Of course you know it. Uh, high strength? Nope. That one. Uh, now it's, we're in the mode of just cleaning up uh, stuff here. Because we have all the things we need, so now it's uh, a matter of getting stuff. And I know that I'm going to find something. Oh, all cues, you uh, all. the particle trap. So, plan for today. Oh, this I didn't get the signal towers. Ah, but we wanted to test this. Uh, never mind, we have nothing to test it on. Hey, Cameron, thank you for the 32 months. Much appreciated. Did we miss the hype train? There was no hype train. There was a hype train yesterday. Um, When my father came back, I was about... 50-ish megawatt and 11 hours runtime. Yeah, I think there's a lot of variables that influence it. So, random chance and stuff. But the thing is, it's not accumulating. The implosion cannon. Table Cecil, thank you for the 300 bits. Yeah, um, 
300 bits is better than 200 bits because 300 bits is adding, uh, is activating Twitch. Twitch and not type change. That was another loyal devotee. I don't know if that was a true loyal devotee or not. Hey, Warren, thank you for the tier two for 35 months. Very much appreciated. Um, all right, so what we want to do today is we want to build the annoying three things that are always haunting us in every factory at this mid-game stage. It's not really mid-game, but this uh, early game transition, it is green and uh, green turbines, blue engines, and <laughs> pink containers. And it sucks to call them those, but let's call them right. Electromagnetic turbines, super magnet, super conduct, super magnetic ring, and particle containment trap i don't know let's let's see what the names are actually <laughs> you know them they are the ones that always haunt us they are mag this is an electromagnetic turbine Woo and super magnetic ring Ooh, two out two for two and then the particle container all right particle container pink container it's all good i missed a few things uh drizzled with 1000 bits and well done twitch i think twitch is almost taking over the third position. Uh, Perhaps no, it's a keeping up at Hunt JD1. Thank you for 10 gift subs. Thank you very much. Getting us all the way into a level one already. And thank you, Perhaps no, for the 1000 bits. And Twitch is coming in again. PDGR with 300 bits. Better boost some Twitch some. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Twitch is adding 45 bits to that. Nice. Only here for Mr. Kibbit. Well, he was here yesterday evening. A little bit. Dissolutioned, maybe? I don't, I don't know. That's a little bit much to imply. But he got wrecked by the uh, by <laughs> by this swarm. So I don't know if he's going to be playing again. Why is Twitch adding stuff? Because uh, I think they have a guilty conscience about letting all the furry porn on the platform. And now they're kind of distracting you by throwing a little bit of bits around. That's my theory. But there might also be something about like a promotional offer, Christmas times stuff. But I think it's because they want to distract you from all the furry porn on the platform. So, you know... <laughs> If you haven't noticed the furry pawn, that's because it works. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that was it. Um, Munchel Monster, thank you for 300 bits. And Daniel, thank you for the tier 3. Amazing tier 3, that what pushed it over to a level 2 for 22 months. Hey, Miss Timini, thank you for the 300 bits. Oh, Miss Timini must be raking in the gold right now. It's just breaking it in as an artist here on the platform. There is a there is a prime market just ripe for the taking. <laughs> um, all right, so let's start making those three things, and I want to make them close to here because then they will be actually be accessible by the fidget spinners. Hello, goodbye. Oh, that was quick. That did not last long. Titanium smelting. Uh, the second tower is a giant power tower, by the way. It has insane power transmission reach. More on the old satellite base. Yeah, but it also costs a lot. So, there's a flip side to it. You probably want to queue research for a third of these... What? Queue re What? Oh, yeah. Queue research for a third one. Yeah, but I was... Uh, I couldn't. Because, you know... I got busy with uh, with talking about more important stuff. Implusion cannon. Don't want to do that. Uh, we'll get the signal tower so we have it. So we can do some testing. And thrusterinos. All right. Queue is full. No need. Hey, got my patron. Oh, it's a, it's, it's a patron. There was a patron notification. Let's see if we can see it on there. is odd oh there we go t s i uh, uh kelona uh under a different name though um thank you for the new templar rank thank you so much uh let me just uh get over here and give you there and give you a vip status sweet Add it to the VIP. Thank you so much for that. And I will also add you to the Excel sheet. Or not Excel sheet, but the planetary sheet. And... Uh, 
list values only. New template. Perfect. Right. So we are at a level two hype train. Uh, what is that? Does the dark high return to your planet uh, or are you just lucky? Uh, it will return, probably. It should be. Right. So uh, hype train is in progress. And if we uh, want to see. Oh, there we go. New kicks. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. You are. Uh, don't see you often here. I see you so rarely that I don't even have you uh, with a VIP badge. Thank you for the 1000 bits. A master of the path has graced our presence here. Thank you so much. Ooh. More shall gather. More shall enter the fray. Hello, Bartok. Is that because you will now get a new badge? Thank you so much for the 64 gift subs. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for that. Let's see. And let's let's have you say something, Bartek, so we can look at your glorious badge in all its glory. 4,000 gift subs. Ooh. Ooh. The funny thing is, like, that first day when you joined, a good thing I was nice to you. <laughs> uh, I have lost my base. And there's only one way to find my base. Okay. That is, it is so amazing. Thank you. Are we flying? Yep, yeah, we're flying. Good. Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, then we're already halfway through a, a level f 4 train. So already on the way to a level 5. Uh, is it intended to limit the hive in this update? Because I see until now that... And uh, don't have the right choice. I think you're right. I don't know if it's intended. Oh, an Everlist. Way. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. What a presence. Uh, what a... Present and presence a uh, way to show up here. Thank you so much, Everlist, for 25 gift subs. And Paranoid Snow was sneaking in with uh, a Master Embassy with 300 bits before, and Paranoid Snow with also with 300 bits, and then Everlist dropping 25 gift subs. And it's already level 5. Wow. Right, so I'd really like to build one build that does all three things at once. That would be super cool, because I hate building this. It is so frustrating. Um... Okay, heat building is a little bit much, but it's one of those things where I'm like, oh, it's that time again. I know you have feel exactly the same way, right? When it's time to build, uh, to build this this part, the green engines, uh, the blue turb things, and then it's like, oh, now again. Twitch is number three for bits. Oh no, <laughs> it's gonna end up at number one. Uh. You also cleaned up the gears. I cleaned up the gears. Thank you for noticing. So, let's get a little bit in terms of uh, s just get a sense of the scale of all of this. So we need to make this part. Um, so, a question: I noticed today that you can add numbers when you mark belts. Is that new, or is all the numbers when you mark belts? Mark belts. Uh, let me see what you mean. Like here? These used to be here. Signals. These ones. Maybe? I don't know. I, I can't really say if, if that was already here. I, I remember there were some signals. Never really delved too deep into that. Your build with the main bus is sick. Oh no, what's wrong with it? There might be a Twitch plan now. Oh no, only if Twitch wins the the uh, the hype train. But that's uh, is that the case? No, no, no. Parents know is still leading, but it would be funny if Twitch wins the hype train. Okay, I'm gonna pretend that these are speed one because there will be speed one at some point. So that's gonna be one per second. Let's build the next one. Ray receiver of uselessness. It's not useless, but you know, it's useless. At this point, it's very much useless. And then get the super magnetic ring. That is on a three second timer. Yes. But here's the problem. If I build this, just this small one, then I'm already using this much just for this. Oh, this much green just to go in here because this would be two per second so that's mm. then 
And we'd at least need to be doing this so that there will be some surplus as well. This one will also, of course, run full here. Uh, Graph Mania, thank you for the new subscription. Welcome. And Munsel Monster, thank you for the 300 bits. And Twitch is edging it closer to the number two on the leaderboard for the month. So I've also decided, uh, based on the hype train yesterday, that if we get to a level six or above hype train, which is completely hypothetical, then it'll be instead of 15 minutes added to the end of the stream, it'll be 30 minutes. Because, you know, level six and beyond is so ridiculous. And now we have... Um, Let's get the particle trap and then get these ones again. A generous bestowal. Ooh, I did so much. Thank you for the 500 bits. I uh, I think that there's, there's 60 seconds left on the hype train. I think that it's easy to easier to steal it from Paranoid Snow. Sorry, Paranoid Snow with 1300 bits than it is to steal it from Bathek. If anyone is... Uh, it's a level 5, so it is an uh, upcoming... Uh, um, it's a uh, future planets. I'm just boosting Twitch. <laughs> just boosting Twitch. All right, last chance to snipe if anyone is up for it. Or like 65 subs is also a, a snipe potential, but you know, let's leave it at that. Um, I need this one to be done. Let's see, this is on a four second cycle. And it. if I just make... Dothark, thank you for five gifts of joining in here. Thank you so much for that. And Ak Akalacia, thank you for the three months. Hope you're doing well. I am doing as as well as I can. Um, Welcome back. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Build the better sometimes. I am able to build it, but I'm not because I need. There we go. Hype train completed. Genux uh, Sokun. Thank you for the 300 bits. And the hype train winner. The hype train parents know. And Bathak. You get uh, on the list. And I'm actually going to put hype trains ahead of the. Yeah, so that was... Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion that Bathic might be a name that with more than one star. I mean, judging by previous... <laughs> there were also a lot of Everlists last time. And, you know, there are some names that were like, oh, uh, is it Bathic 3 in this system? Oh. <laughs> um, who knows? No. And they are level 5 hype train. We are going to be needing to expand a little bit further into the universe before we get that onwards. <laughs> Star Lord. Bathic Prime. Yeah, that's actually better to call Bathic Prime. Right. So if we look at this one, and lo and behold, it also needs more crap. So if I just built four of them, I need two more per second. So now I've had added the first. One, two, go into here, and the next, go into that one. It's ridiculous. This is, it's a little bit too much. Like, this is getting too big for our small planet. Uh, let's see. So, how do we build this? I think we need to, let's see if someone has done this before. I feel that someone has done this before. Like, we have such a nice build here. So why has no one done the same thing for our... Oh. Turbine Licious. Sweet. That's so nice. Hello. Has someone already done it for us? Oh, that's so nice. But it's only one and a half per second. That's ridiculous if it's one and a half per second. Are you kidding me? Um, hmm. That's a nice build. I guess. It's, oh, I, oh, I designed it... Um, oh, I designed it uh, this week. Ah, that's why. Because I was, I was exactly thinking what I'm thinking now. Like, oh, I don't want to build it. Then I was like, you know what? Let's build it now so I don't have to do it on stream. Smart. Smart move. Max vertical height reached. Fuck it. Uh, it's not really intended now to eliminate the hive until space flight update. I don't know if it's intended or not, but I think it's uh, be a little bit difficult. This is a funny place to put it in here. Um, I think I want, I want to get it the other way up here. Ah, right. The problem is that I also want to do the smelting here. Um, don't know if I want to do that.
Uh, hold on. Go, build faster. Hmm. One point five per second is just nothing. And this will need to get some copper. This planet is completely exhausted. <laughs> oh, we need to get off this hellhole. Yeah, we don't really have a lot. They have something here, which is... Oh, I'm here. Okay, so this is kind of the only places. That one and that one. Iron and copper. I don't need anything else. Iron and copper, right? Nothing else except iron and copper. No. But I do need quite a lot of bad belts. Uh, if you plan to extend ring... Extend ring? Ah, uh, that is true. It is a little bit too close. Uh, this is an awful build anyway. So I need... Looks like I need one... One belt of copper and four belts of, of iron. And if I wanted to skip the... So I need fewer belts, then I'd need the green turbines to actually use less belts. Lovely. Alright, let's uh, grab some belts here. And... Uh, f where was it? It was... It was this way-ish, right? It was up here. That's the closest one we found. Wow. So one copper and four iron from this one. This is I can't believe this is the closest. And it's also pretty pathetic even at that. Alright. Four full lanes out of this. That means eight builds of six each. That's never going to happen, but you know. There was a never. There we go. So far, so good. It's a nice, dense cluster. Yep, here's the problem. I can do this, but that's seven. So, this is perfect, except it's not perfect. So I need to make all of them less perfect, so that I can... Like, this one's too good. I sneak in here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like this is perfect. Wow, oh, look at that. Almost uh, the the stupid achievement that's impossible to get. But uh, five. I can get another one here. Yeah, six. Oh, cool. All right, we got it. That bus and hub design uh, looks like the inside of an. FPGA. I don't know what an FPGA is, but uh, I, I agree. Let's figure out where we want to grab stuff back again. Um, customizable processor. Okay, yeah, it does look like a processor build. Because it's it's called a bus and it's not <laughs> sort of a... It's not from a, uh, a, a city bus that it's named for. Do I really need more? I just need one belt, so let's just sort of skimp on this one. Is there anything down here that's kind of... No. Okay, so let's get... Yeah. Signal Tower. Maybe we should read that guide. Oh, usually you can build it like this. <laughs> Doesn't matter. This is going to be one messed up anyway.
There. Black of Ice and Pow. Oh, plastic as an. Oh no. That was not a diagonal. Don't know what you think you saw, but it was not a diagonal. Playing as well at the moment, also on blue engines. However, my master strategy is to make a spaghetti abomination and then abandon this plan later. Yeah, um, I don't abandon my uh, patrons, so that's not an option. Oh, Whoa, Glukings, thank you! Whoa! Wow, not even on a train. Whoa, you should throw that on a train. That would have... Uh, wow, thank you so much. 16,000 bits. Can we let Twitch be in the top three now? <laughs> Uh, yes, but because you just took number one, so pushing further down, still be number three. Wow, well done, Twitch, as well. But thank you, Knookix, for 16,000 bits, just not even on a train or anything. Oh, this is going to be a disaster, right? Yes, it's going to be an absolute disaster. I hate who's who's responsible for this annoying implementation. Subscriber, come steal yourself. We are building an army. Eat this. All right, let's hurry up and ignore it. Enjoy, very much enjoy. Uh, Salt Lord Pepsi, thank you for the tier one. Welcome. Uh, let's see, build. This is probably going to go into number two. That one. It's going to go in here. Problem is, this is not even enough. This is, uh, we're gonna need to somehow magic up m some more, uh, more science or more iron and copper later on, which is gonna be impossible. Yeah, God made him. Yes. It was must have been a day off. Sneaking our way down here. Four lanes, right? For this. And it's it gets us one and a half per second. Totally not worth it. Like that. I feel a disturbance in the force. Oh, uh, don't leave this. That's going to last long either. Well, I have a little bit of uh, productivity, but we do need to get off this damn, uh, damn planet. Um, we do need, uh, what do we need actually? Like, let's try to sort of be focused on what exactly we need to get off this planet. Um, we need a little bit of super magnetic rings, not really like a whole build, but a little bit because the super magnetic ring is uh, used for the uh, geothermal power plant and we can't really not have that going to the lava planet and not having that.
doesn't really help if it's still ethereal and it needs to go all the way over there uh i'm kind of leaning towards maybe just moving it over here refinement okay that one and that one we need graphite as well and then I think we're good, right? Then we're done with the science. Ah, it's a little bit on the implosion cannon. Some titanium ammo box. The attack drones are no. We just want to get all of it. Oh. Ooh, really? Oh, yeah, that's true. Planetary defense is actually... Oh. Super Sonic missiles. Oh, I want it. But that's definitely too expensive for us. So should I take all of this, just move it over here? Yes, I should. I, I, We know it's true. Oh, improve vertical. Yes, that's true. We also need that. Mm. It was fun while it lasted. Let's go somewhere else. And build it closer to this location. Yeah, that's fine. And then a kind gesture. Hello, J Bestone. Belt not connected by iron mining over water. Uh no, nope, that's definitely one of these not oh, I wish there was a light in this game. It's so weird that there's no lights. And thank you for the two hundred bits. The only way to get my attention, apparently. Let's see. I'm gonna make it a little bit further off this time around. Uh, uh, the verticality, there we go. Don't need it. I love that feature of just auto building them for, for stuff that's important. I believe. That was correct. And then I prefer building all of this. And we're missing some good inserters. Okay. Well. Spavy Vasta class video. No, I don't do that. Not deliberately, at least. Yep. Do you really think this looks like spaghetti? I don't... I mean, yes, spaghetti as an uncooked spaghetti. This very much looks like uncooked spaghetti. Oh, you can't... Oh, these big boys can't be placed on top. I thought they could. But no, alas, only the small ones. Only the small boys. Ah, the silliness knows no bounds. Yeah. And that one. And that one.
Right, time to hook it up. That looks great, this part. Alright, so do we have... Oh, we have coal nearby. Yes, that's nice. Is Tectonica dead? Not that I know of. I just don't play it. Um, hmm. Why not have storage in the middle of the build? A uh, bunch of wasted space. Uh, it's really difficult to drag it from here or somewhere else. Here, I can easily drag it up to the next build I'm going to build. So, And I think that it should start working immediately as we get the first ones in. Oh, this is so pathetic, but whatever. It's, uh, it will have to do. Is something coming in? I think we... Pretty sure we set something. Tron 880. Thank you for the Prime. Welcome. So I saw the build auto build feature of these battlefield station and immediately got the goal of my playthrough. Self-building science planet. <laughs> uh, I was thinking like, ooh, can I just plaster them all over the planet? And I was like, I can probably, but should I? That's a very different question. How is this not getting there? Oh, because there's literally none available. Mm. Super magnetic rings. Ah, that one. Out of range. Are you kidding me? Ah, always. Always, always, always. This is always the problem. Ah. Super magnetic ring. What else? That one is getting here. So we just moved it so far away that it doesn't work. That one is the battlefield analysis station. And I'm also going to build it a hat here that I will probably work. So it's also time now to build. Let's see. What is it? Yes, this can be built here. And... That can be built with the other one. This can be built. Okay, so we can make Mark three inserters, but do we want to make Mark three inserters? Because really, green turbines are in a short supply. Let's say it like that. Oh, no. um, why do I carry so many, so much crap around here? Oops. Oops. Don't want to carry that around. Okay. This is going to be a little bit of a hack, to be honest. Um, actually, not as much as I thought. To imagine that this will also be here. Hats on everyone. So, this should now be the requesting. Inbound. And you need to request that. Actually, that's because they have to be in here as well. Middle mouse to lock. And this will now be... Oh. 
This will be the requester. Paste, 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 paste. And then get all of that junk in there. Because then that will be pushed back in. Good. More verticality. I don't really need more verticality right now. Um, I will get it, but what I really need is structure matrix because once I have that, I can actually research something that's important. I can research. Not that. Uh, this one. Do you have plans to play on max fuck difficult in the future? I would like to see you struggling in DSP death world challenge. I don't have any plans to do that, but uh, maybe. I kind of wanted this to be more of a challenge than it is because it's completely stuck and it doesn't do anything. And I find that to be a little bit boring and I kind of regret not pumping up the difficulty. Uh, so we can also make this, but that requires processors. Nope. And it requires... Um, Graphine. Graphene. Nope. So. And let, can I just put this in here? Sure. Mark 3 Tortoise. I don't want to spend my very precious green turbines on uh, on making inserters that are or sorters that are not really needed right now. Because I can't keep up with this. And I also need it for the next build, which is what we're going to build now. So, as much as I'd like to, the answer is going to be a no. So, here we need super magnetic ring. Uh, don't need a lot. There's a little bit more iron. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it just seems weird. Like, why did I build such a big one here when... when Oh, it's actually true. When this one gets updated, it will take two per second plus two per second, and that will actually require six of these. So it is actually correct when it gets upgraded. But I'm needing a little bit more iron. Uh, there's a little bit more iron. Yay! Uh, let's see. So I think I just want one per second of this. This is uh, kind of pathetic. So So, that will require this one. We have. We have. And this will be three magnetic rings per second, then. I'm pretending this is. That means we need something like this. How utterly stupid I am. Because I just built a million of these only to immediately upgrade them. Because this is wasteful as well. Everything is wasteful. Hmm. I'll take some of these out and continue building those these for the time being. Don't forget to take my break. Oh no, it's already break time. Someone's been chatting too long. Good thing I had someone coming in and tell me to get started on the gaming and stop chatting. This, uh, whew, what is it? don't have enough time today. And this will be that thing here. And we need the last thing, which will be, oh, it's only one, one, three, because, okay. This is one per second. It is not much. <laughs> there you go. No, 
lack of item. Lack of... That's it. That's it. We're out. Can't do this anymore. We're out. I'm missing one off on everything. There you go. Last yesterday it was 0 0.2 off. All right, this will be done. Can you repair damage to the mech? Yeah, it just heals automatically. Uh, after a while, it heals pretty quickly. Cool. Did you add 1.13 to stream from the level five? Yes, I did. No, I didn't for the last one. No, 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 no. That's also what I'm gonna do in the break. So be back in two minutes. Hello, everyone. And there. Okay, welcome back. Uh, Jay Besterman, uh, I encourage you to play Against the Storm right now. I don't want to go into giving guides or giving hints on another game when we're deep in this with so many other... Any uh, any other stream, usually it would be fine. Still hasn't been fixed over the break. Uh, usually it would be fine, but I don't really want to get into sort of uh, figuring that out right now. Don't have any insertos though. Yeah. There. And we will. This distribution range is important. And I have some spare extra colors here. Do you have any suggestion for the foxings when you want a little bit of a challenge? Well, I like the one the settings I have, but they could be more challenged than than they currently are. Uh, you can check the DSP seed and then check what the settings are. Oh, one, two, three. So you may wonder, how did I get all this? Did I cheat? Well, yes, but um, a new <laughs> Ralphie, this is a this is a thank you, Ralphie, for the prime. Welcome. This is from the metadata from previous runs. So that's when we have something annoying that I really want the research for. We'll just gracefully put it in here. Using metadata is technically not cheating. It's not just technically not cheating. It's not cheating at all. But it does kind of make make it less sort of comparable because you can go like, well, I can't do that because I don't have metadata stored up. I don't know. To that, I can only say, you're right. Well, this is awkward that I can't put all of it in. Can I put them... There you go. So I got all of it in. So now that it's ready for when this one gets started, then I will actually do that. Signal Tower Guide. Should we look at this Signal Tower? Signal Tower is a multifunctional complex that can provide you with more tactical options and optimize your production lines. That sounds like a lot. Signal Towers periodically send signals of a specific frequency to lure Dark Fox so that it will attack the Signal Towers. Signal Towers can form an effective chain data chain with missile turrets on the same planet, making them connect into the same signal network. By sharing all the data with the signal network, missile turrets can strike enemies trying to break into the signal network. Can also supply power to nodes in the power grid. And they even charge Icarus. Oh, they even charge Icarus. That's pretty cool. 
but I don't think I think they're too expensive. Oh, we want to be able to. Oh, right. Um. Uh, and a green D8. How do we make a green D8? Uh, I think that's. Uh, and I need four eight four of those. So I think we need. Can I build it now? Oh, six. Okay. So I need twelve. Oh, I'm not a smelter. I can't do it. It's I have to be a smelter to do it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, I did not think the metadata was not a physical item. It's not really a physical item, but you can take it from here and then you can use it. Or you can take this and instantiate it Either get it as uh, white spheres or get it like this and then you get it, you subtract it and you get one of each here. You can't do it for the other ones though. Oh, I thought I was going to do something stupid. I don't know how we got mismetadated. This might be from the current playthrough, I guess. And we need some steel. That's steel. Awesome, no need to creep closer to the missiles, you'll just shoot around. Okay, but you need to creep, sneak closer with the missile turrets then. Or the signal towers. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Unfortunately, we don't have any enemies. So. It's also that when I built the first one and I tested it, then I was like, okay, all right. And it, it had no interface at all. Just like... What am I clicking on? What is the powerful interaction with everything it doesn't do anything but this is the charge range i guess idle cost 1.35 and then the idea i hope think maybe is that any missile turret inside here will then be able to shoot at anything. This one wouldn't be able to shoot, but it can now, because of this one, can it shoot all the way over there? I hope, maybe, think, kind of. Who knows? Uh, you can obliterate a relay base of the fog when you quick build a signal tower, which covers it and alter it, start blasting. Yeah. But do you chain it like... Will this cause it to chain? Like, I'm. I think there there are so many questions. They connect like part. Yeah, yeah. So. So does that mean that this one is now inside of a signal range? So that's connected to a signal tower, and then I built somewhere completely different than another signal tower. And if they go inside that, this turret will shoot. I don't know. All right, I guess we'll we'll try it on uh, when we go to the other planet because we'll have plenty of opportunities to do that. Hey, Fwing! Thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Do you have a concept? Keep it up. I will, I will definitely try. Though I don't quite understand it, and I don't think you will be able to explain it to me in a way that I'll understand it. But I also, even though you can explain it perfectly, I still want to test it anyway. So we are going to test it on uh, when we get to the new new planet. So we need some iron inbound and some coal inbound. And we're out of this again.
Ugh, I need more landfill. The supernova button is fun. I don't think so. I I was maybe I was counting on it to do more than it did, but it, it was a little bit underwhelming. Oh, we are completely out of this soon. Well, 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 and also not really getting enough. We are so burning out on this planet. Huh. So I think we need to get off this hellhole soon. I'm also just completely wasting a lot of resources because I, I just have no care in the world. And then suddenly we'll just run out and I go, this is unreasonable. We are definitely not building those planetary towers. I, I want to show them to you. They're really cool. But check out my uh, my introduction video that sh should have the appetite. But I, I think it feels like a much later game than where we are. I knew it was there. I don't know why I did this much. Um... Only we had a. Uh, I I can't do these. Uh, yeah, what is it called? This one, a wind turbine to cover the, our needs. Ah, oh, we can build one. We can handcraft one just to bridge the gap. Oh, what would we do without? Uh, any plans on releasing the blueprint for the new mall? Uh, no, definitely not. There is no mall. Oh, that was not happy about this quantity here. Um, I am, as I said in my video today, I uh, maybe you didn't watch it, but I'm saying that I will be making a masterclass. And for masterclasses, I will be releasing specific uh, blueprints. But sort of if you think, oh, this looks cool. Can I get that blueprint? The answer is no. But if you're a patron, you can just grab it from the save game. I know it's not quite the same, but... I don't want to sit and polish these blueprints too much, and that's what really is required in most of the cases here. So, there and there. Why are they not coming? Oh, they are coming in. And uh, that one, and you know, that's probably need an output as well. And then put a hat on. Get in, get in, distribute, all good, and power. So, pink containers are not critical to what I need to do. So, I don't need to build the pink containers. I can do that. And original jumpstart base from years ago. Nice, that's also uh, an option. The baseless insult on this beautiful planet. Don't worry, I'm I'm mining it so it'll be pure and pristine. It's a beautiful planet once I've removed all of the traces of value from it. It'll be completely pristine. Uh, this one, no one is flying out because, yeah. Because I need this. The range. It would be actually be nice if I click this and I could then see like the range out here. And I go, oh, that's why it's not working. You know, if you switch the green turbine belt and the super magnetic ring belt, you could have built it somewhere without hopping over the belt. I know, but I'm not going to build this anywhere. This one will be only here for one purpose. Well, technically it could be two purposes. I can now also build implusion cannon. It, it looks cool. I don't know if I want to make an implusion cannon. I'm devastated by the fact that someone mentioned that They've removed the devastated line from uh, from the liquid container. I loved it. Hmm. Fire rate one shot per second. Boom. 
That was a great line. <laughs> it was a great line. The, like the idea of the liquid was like, if you destroy the houses of the liquid, it's just going to be devastated, homeless and devastated. It's going to be lying on the ground, crying, especially if it's water. It's devastated. <laughs> Maybe they'll bring it back. I doubt it. <laughs> I I think that as a non-native English speaker, people who make, even in a friendly way, make fun of my pronunciation or my lack of English knowledge, it just kind of, it's not as cute for me as it is for you. Yeah, strip mining. That is also in... in um, in line with the new Twitch policy, we'll be strip mining. You won't see any strip, uh, other strip on this channel, but you know, strip mining might be a thing. <laughs> it's not what you think. <laughs> Devastated somebody. <laughs> Yeah, strip teasing and is when I'm in a, that's when I'm telling you that I'll be mining this. But I'm 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 gonna mine this. I don't worry, I will. Not right now, but I will. Then I'm strip teasing you. Strip mining teasing you. Anyway. I need to basically I need this oh right, one hundred, that's all I need. There you go. Let me be the fidget spinner. The funny thing is, like fidget spinners was a thing that existed for three, six months, maybe maximum of six months, right? That's as long as it existed. And then it was gone. Never to be heard of again, except for this game. Oh, yet another thing we don't have. Ah, uh. right. Do we have some stone somewhere? We must have some little, just a little, that's a little bit of stone. Gotta have a little bit of stone. And then I'm just gonna steal it from here because we have 6,000 available. So if I can just get a little bit of stone from somewhere. Ah, stone veins up there. Or. That's tapped and that is not tapped. We'll take that. No, because I need that for something else. And I need a little bit more here. Yeah. So, um, this will be, I swear this will be the last thing. I am, I am, I'm done. I'm done. I'm so close to done. I, I just, that's it. That's it. We're done. No, no more random crap that I'm into build. One, two, six. That's six. That's something. Actually, really nice. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And that will go into... Can I build it in this area? Yeah, let's build it here. Let's see what we can do. That is going to be making prisms. That is taking three glass... Oh, it's definitely not going to be here because I need the glass mining first. So this makes one per second. That one. This takes... Why? Three per two seconds. No one knows what that is. Woo! Let's see if it works now. How are you not working? One available route. Okay. It is working now. Yes, it's working. Sweet. And... This one should also work. Well, that does, that sucks. I am already out of green engines because this one. Oh, right, 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 right. I need to stop this one. I definitely don't need as much here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, 153. That's something. All right. Cool. Um, here. So in three seconds, I need three. And each of these produce one per second. Well, this is too much then. Each one produces one per second. Uh -huh. And this, three of them consume two per second. Okay, so that should be correct. And then I just need a line inbound. And... Ah, 
I really don't need a lot of this, so no reason to overdo it. And this will be um, every two seconds. I need three glass, and there's two of them, so that's every second I need three glass, so six glass in total. Okay, so let's make smelting for six glass per second. And that is two. Um, then I need 12 of these. I think I'm I'm running a lot of things off, and I did I did it. Oh, God. yep. And then we need some input belts. Illustrious champion, welcome, illustrious champion uh, Shep Sheppy. Thank you for the 17 months. Just saw the first Dark Frog plays on um, Dark Frog plays on YouTube. Awesome. Looking forward to see you. Let's play uh, for the new series. Thank you. I'm also looking forward to making it. So that's a really fortunate uh, set of circumstances there. Gotta be some power over here. Yeah. There we go. first otherwise the inserters will not land yeah a little bit reckless to build all of this without actually uh, building this part which is super a super wrong way of doing it but whatever um do you plan do you plan to build all in this new hub and give up on the port. No, I don't want to give up on the polar hub because uh, that's just so convenient. There are so many random weird things that need it for something that I just need it to come in. All right, let's see. Uh, actually, let's get the inbounds and outbounds first. I'm getting addicted to this way of doing it. This. Boom. And you will be providing that one also to me, should I want it. Um, in, out, in, out. In, out, out. <laughs> oh, I'm devastated. I'm like a liquid that has it. <laughs> I am devastated. Ah, stupid round planets. I, I, from now on, I'm a flat Earth believer. <laughs> Don't like round planets. Oh, this is so annoying. Oh, this is so annoying. It's so ridiculously annoying. Oh my god, this frustrates me so to no end. Uh, how do I pretend that this was always the plan? There we go. This was always the plan. I never intended this to be done in any other way. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have just destroyed everything. One, two. Oh, we're running out of splitters.
I know. Oh, I just lost some extra stuff because carelessness. Okay. And I'll try again. It's like the old days of opening and closing doors and stuff. It's glorious. And in, out. In, out. And in, out. And in, out. Well, that was a Kind of quick rescue, right? Here. Request. That one. This one will just be providing. And there. These are working. Sweet. Woo! You rip. So I'm going to make a big factory. Yes, true. But I need to build a little bit here, so that's fine. Looks like it's working. Oh, 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 oh. That's important. This one? Eh, like that. Is the ratio correct? Seems mixed up. Maybe it was the other way around, but no one will know now because I left. I'm gone now. This one needs to be a little bit limited. Still gonna eat everything, but I, yeah. Let's take half a stack here. This one can just fill up because we always need more. No matter how many we have, we need more. Um, what else? Was there something else that was stacking up way too much? That one was stacking up too much. Let's uh, look at the geothermals because in the geothermals, that's the reason why we can't go out. That's the reason why we built everything here. Because going to a lava planet without geothermals, not a great idea. All right. Uh. It's working, but why? A kind hey, thank you, Shippy. Thank you for the 300 bits. Two more research. That's a good point. If I have any more research, don't think I have any more things, do I? Oh, the vertical construction that have been yelled at. Then let's get that one. Energy shield. That might be not entirely useless. This reconstruction thingy. Inventory. Inventory. How did I not take inventory? Whatever. Um, that's kind of the last of the upgrades, right? Maybe there's a little bit on the weapons upgrade. Yeah, there's a little bit here. That one and that one. Combat drone damage is useless, but we'll take it anyway. Q is full of junk. And, oh, the squadron size. Ooh, do I want that more? Yes, I want that more. It's only plus two. Planter shield. No thanks. Maybe Q organic crystals, so more yellow cubes can be easily built. Uh, it's a uh, it's a complicated build. I mean, yeah, it's stamping down a blueprint, so maybe not that complicated. Five, five. That's what you tell me. Oh, right. Because you're requesting this, and nothing ever happens. <laughs> it's the stupid magnetic coils I threw away that I'm losing now. All right. Um. It's weird that my this is not working. I got one, two, two of them. I think I should have at least 20 before leaving. And I saw something else, something nice. Thank you. A new uh, annual protector of the path has joined the ranks. For yellow signs is titanium, which means going to space. Yes, but there is the point that um, I have this glorious old science design here that is split into this part and this part. They are dedicated to just making these annoying cubes here, uh, these annoying organic crystals, which is always going to be the pain in the ass to do. But it requires some uh, planetary thingies that I don't have. So 
not just yet. Let's spend the time on figuring out what I want in my inventory as I go to the other planet. That's important. I got 50 missile turrets. That sounds about the right number, doesn't it? I have a little thing for missile turrets. It's a little bit of a missile turret kink. I don't know. It's, it's a thing. Glass. Who wants glass? You want glass, right? Yeah, get some glass in there. No. Who else wants glass? You want glass. You're already full on glass. I, I have been running around here filling stuff up with useless stuff I want to get rid of. And that was vertical construction. Uh, this one is... No. Yeah, I have some glass. Don't care. Glass is gone now. Oof. And this one gone. This one gone. And the other things... No, not really. How's this one coming along? Oh, oh, this is great. Great news. Great news, everyone. We're going to be filling up exclusively with this. That's what we need for the new planet, for sure. Hmm. And no matter how many we take, we just need more. What would that I got? I don't know. Technologies. Oh, oh, upgrades. That one, flight durability, and that one. That's the last of our research we can get. Sweet. You probably want a couple of rockets for your turrets. And no, you want to build them on site. I want to. I, I. I'll get. I'll fill up a little bit, but not much. Uh, you always need more of these than you think. Uh, should I get a thermal power plant? No, don't think so. Maybe a thermal power. No, I don't know. If I need a thermal power plant, something has already gone wrong. Uh, smelters. I have about two hundred smelters. I have lots of here. I need definitely need more assemblers. And also this part, definitely. Defiantly. Let's get all of that. Uh, luckily, we want the extra inventory space. Good thing that's coming. Uh, remind me of other things. Oil isn't too bad. The ratios aren't great. But that's what thermal plants are for. You can always do more energy. Yeah, but that's. It's, it's not about that. It's about am I going to spend the time on building it? I have two of these for a building. Uh, none of this. I'm just looking at stuff that I want. Uh, this one is important. Do I have? I have 14. That is a mistake. Wow. I don't even need more than one stack of that. But okay. Um, this one. This is the main one. This is now up to 13 in total. Uh, this is not working because you are waiting for... Yeah. Ammo? Yes. I have two battle stations. And I use them for something else. Uh, I fall in love with those towers. Construction drones and combat drones. Hell yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, okay I'll take a few more. Yeah. And I lock it into that spot. Um, what else do we think we want? Because once we get there, more belts. Solar? No, I don't want to build solar there. And if I do, I'd rather build it on site than... Yeah. What I do want is more... Yeah. I should also... Inventory space! Yes. Fuel for Robo. Uh, oh, right. I don't have... Well, I don't care. I'm, I'm just flying back and forth. So, yes. Let's get a little bit of fuel for myself and for the return flight. Hmm... But we do need some of this. Oof. Can't really take more. And up here. I don't even know. I, I don't think I need a, fac a factory if I just build this. If I just fill up my inventory like this, then I don't think I need. But I don't want to fill up my inventory like this. 
But I want to make sure that we are not defenseless. Four hundred? Yeah. Stack of radar stations. What's a radar station? You should just start. I, I mean, there's also a point where, I mean, like, don't I have enough already? I have some ghost turrets as well. Don't really need many of those. What is a radar station? Yeah, they are also... I, uh, I'm actually not building them. Uh, should I build them? Let's also get a half a stack of turrets additionally. Just, just to make sure that we have it. Turrets, turrets, turrets. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Must have missed you. I have one kind of turret here. Are you kidding me? Did I not have the turrets? Huh. Did I forget that? Yes. I have no intent. That's intended. Hmm. That's a little bit weird. Uh, let's see. Was it iron first? Yeah, iron and... Yeah. And gears, nope, but greens. Yes, and the coils, and then I think this... Let's see. Oh, that's a long way off. Lack of item. Oh, no. I don't even want to do it anymore. Psh, who cares? Don't care. I have 21. That's more than enough. Off we go. Ah, let's get a few more of the... This is the whole point. Yes, 32. We're good. We are good. Would be lovely to have a save here. Long time YouTube viewer, first time Twitcher. Hello, welcome. And let's. I think we're ready, and I want to save before going there, because I might need this for you know, them YouTubes. You know. Does the bus work in DSP? DPS <laughs> damage per second? Yes, it does. Can hear me? Thank you for the four months. Much appreciated. And all right, so. Now it's time to get serious. Gloom and Rage, you need to be liberated. Look at that infestation. You, and what do we have? 9 million, 10 million, yay, silicon, and a juicy amount of titanium. That's why we're there. Factory Musculature, thank you for a gift sub. Ooh, you're closing in on those glorious 1k gift subs. Oh, hold on. I also saw something weird out here. Uh, when I was playing myself, I saw a Dark Fog Communicator. It's not possible to see here, but you can sort of sometimes see it Okay, that was pretty cool. There we go. What the hell is that? Don't spoil it. We're going to look for it at some point. But I have shitty uh, ammo, so we're not going to look for it now. But it's interesting. We're going to go to Gloom and Rage and liberate it. How's Gynacube? Gynacube is only has a single infestation. Uh, it's a 404. Thank you for the 11 months. What? What are you saying? Oh, you have no idea. Geothermal. I, I have geothermal. I have 32 of those. It's all good. Oh, we need to go around Maya. Oh, by the way, I, I have decided. I have decided. The name of our star is going to be... Bichu. So, why? Long time tier 3 sub, master of the path. The The new hype chain tracker has been moved to Vichu's server. We're moving the Factorio to his server as well. And on top of that, donated 100 sub and didn't even win a hype chain. If that doesn't deserve to be, a, to be a, a star of the community, then I don't know what. Hey, Magmarol, thank you for the tier 3 and 28 months. Good to see you. Welcome home. <laughs> don't wonder what it is, but it must be just right. I completely agree. All right, let's see what happens here. 
And thank you so much for 200 bits. You didn't lure Twitch into uh, gifting with you. That's... Oh, there we go. It's Oh, I was just uh, looking in a weird view. Oh, shoot. I was just burning through. Let's uh, make sure that we can actually navigate a little bit and hit the planet. Because we're coming in hot. Oh, Hype Chain is engaged as we land somewhere safely. Boom. Bounce. All right, let's have a look at the situation. Universe exploration. Hmm, so we have, they're all level zero and they have no threat. Oh, trust me, you're going to get some threat going. As, hold on. Oh, this is North Pole, so I don't want to build that. This is a nice open spot and there's iron and copper and we need the coal, actually. The coal is most important. Let's get to the coal. This is, that is not a lot of coal we have here. There's two coal deposits. Hmm. Where's the other one? I don't think I'm taking that one. So I think we'll have to make do with a 42 here. All right, so we have a hype train going. And now I lost it. There, that one. This is what we need to go to. It's 50,000. It's something. It's not even that far away, but I have no clue where that one, right? This is the one. The best way of moving. Each individual has a different threat readout. Yes. But they kind of are linked in this some way. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at the lines. Oh, Tales of our Endeavor. Proliferate. It's a 404. Thank you for the five gifts ups to the community. And that gets us to a level one. That's 15 minutes more added to the end of the stream. Fight at your ability. Okay, so this looks good. I will start by making my blueprint. No, uh, yes, no, yes. And I have iron and copper over there, so that's perfectly fine. Yeah. Needs updating, but that doesn't matter. We need to go on a power, power trip. What an expansion. And this is actually rather important. Because that means if I... If there are biters nearby... Uh, uh, buggers nearby? I don't like that word. <laughs> it doesn't have the same ring as biters. Although biters are also not biting, so... I don't know. Robots, drones, enemies, whatever. F floggers? No, that's like that's more me. I'm not sort of just lollygagging into a <laughs> into a, an enemy base, am I? Nope. Ah, look at that juicy bar. Oh, lack of item. All right, that should be enough. You can see when you hover over the mouse. Uh, oh, them. Yes, critters. Yeah. Was there a reason to put the resource on 0.5? Yes, because I think that there's too much resources in the normal game and you're not really having this compulsion to expand. And now I I feel the pressure to expand. And I like that. I like that sense of impending doom. And we're going to do upgrade. We're going to do that. And okay, this train is uh, on level one. There's nothing wrong with a level one. It's very nice. What is the do do can you just stop the rooting? Yeah. Oh, because someone... Oh, look at that. The threat is already uh, rising. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's build... Here. 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 Yeah, this is what we're going to aim for. This is our charging point. And let's build a tower here. So that gets on in with the building. Yeah, the thread is going up, but this one is not going up at all. We, we want to see what it takes to get up here. I can't see the, the mining location here. But 
but this is only going to go into one belt, so it doesn't really matter. And Unimatrix999, thank you for the seven months. All right. Looks like we're not really... Uh, I think we got our train going uh, early today. That goes in. I don't even want to sort of save it or anything like that. Or just... Yeah. And Unimatrix, thank you for the gift sub. Alright, so that's one thing. Why are these not coming in? Oh, then this one won't build it. Huh, interesting. 60 seconds left, 10 subs to complete the level 2. Uh, so far, we are still looking at ending early today. Not early, but you know. You know. So, it's going to take a trained more if you want to get there. Uh, seems completely new game versus new without combat system. Oh, it absolutely is. And that's great. Threat is uh, increasing quite uh, rapidly. Oh, that got foundations. Ugh, I don't want to use foundation here. Yeah. Okay, so train uh, train seems to be dead. Uh, when I bloom in the white, need to input the item into the tower. Yeah, okay. Woo, elusive. Thank you for the five gift subs. Unfortunately, it's not enough to get it to the next, but thank you very much for that. And uh, hype train is ended. Huh. Thank you. And a uh, good shot on the trying. This is not really going to be two full belts, is it? No, it's not. Definitely not two full belts. Damn. All right. I think we need to build some stuff here. Mm. I didn't bring anything. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, let's. Where did the copper go? For? Copper's here. Now I'm a little stressed out about this because I need the copper inbound. Because I'd really like to defend this with uh, with the normal ones instead of with my uh, with my missile turrets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, perfect. That's what we want to see. The fact that they all move up at the same rate is a little concerning because that means they're all going to attack at the same time. And is it connected here? Now it is. Um, let's get two lines back again. So the point here is also that when this comes in, it will actually start making the copper build here. If they could just get that one done. Isn't really happening. Does that one get built? See, I need this one built. Will this be fixed if I do that? Yes. Okay. That helps. 44. Okay. Alright, so start spinning and we need more uh, iron inbound. This is not going to be enough. Do I pretend it's enough? I think I could pretend.
We're still not working here. I need these ones done so that it actually gets it into the box here. Come on. Yeah, that one. And let's get some. How is that not working? Wrong way. Sixty-two. And I don't know what else I'd want from this. Signal tower? Should we get the ticking tower in the middle here? Oh, the signal tower is going to be... Oh, right. Okay, this is... This is going to be fun. <clears throat> signal tower. Right there. I don't know what that means. What we're supposed to do with this, but... Um, do I then place... These inside? And then they will be shooting at anything. Because they're inside this area or what? Well, anything that's also inside of a signal tower. Don't know if that's the intention. The copper ingots are bullets, yes. And this. Oh, the threat is increasing. Uh, I really shouldn't have this one. I should have a... Uh, this. It's much nicer. I'm honestly a little freaking out about this. This, uh, you got a little bit. And then that's also built down here. This will be without anything fancy. Yeah. Here and here, and then watching an attack. So that comes from this side. So I guess this is what we want more of. And do I then put a signal tower here? Uh, I wish I could react to what you're saying in chat, but uh, this one is also covering, so that's good. Oh, these are... F okay, so they are shooting all the way from over here. Nice. When they get inside this area, is that when it works? Now it's inside. Yes. Cool. Okay, next attack coming in. So, as you can see, it's only 10 units, but... It's it's something, and they're gonna waste it on filling this belt up. Ugh. I'm trying to keep up with all your epic videos. How do you get a box of green cubes in your videos? Yesterday, are you doing shenanigans? No, I'm just using the this metadata from previous runs. You can uh, 
I put them here as um as as yeah stuff. Yeah, okay. Oh look at that, my drones are active. Something came in. So, um they will just continue to attack. The two attacks they just decreased. This one and this one, those are the ones that are furthest away. So I'm gonna work my way towards the closer one. And I now realize that I should have built more silk in the signal towers. They're actually kind of nice. Uh, have an evolution factor. Yes, they do. But lo locally, you can see the ones we've killed. They have now increased here. This little yellow bar is the XP they get. I was telling you about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it, was I listening? No, I was not. So whose fault is that? Uh, where do we have some? There. I, I, can, I can make a few, right? I can make a few. I just need some steel. I can do that. And I need some... Let's do that. Let's get a little bit of mining on this part. Yeah. So what is it I want to do with this? That's too close, right? They, they don't like this close, right? Oh, they do like it. Okay, for some reason. Oh, it's because I'm doing vertical. Oh, no one should ever do that. Deal. Okay, shut up. I don't have time for that now. Our illustrious champion returns. And where are you? There. That way. I don't like that. Hey, Stenosko. Hey, look at that. Hello. Long time no see. Good to see you. That I do have time for. Maybe I should focus a little bit on the incoming attacks. Yeah. All right, where are you? There. Hmm. I have some of these, right? Old school towers. There. Okay. Pew, 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 pew. So far, these attacks are not um, overwhelming. Ten units incoming. All right, but they're going to keep coming. There. One. I'm gonna get more. It's twelve. Another one. There. Good. Where are they? Here. Okay. Well, that's kind of uncool. Do I want to build it over here? Uh, okay, I guess I have to just... Never mind. Uh, I'm Ogar, thank you for the Prime. Uh, don't forget my break. Oh yeah, well, maybe now is well, now is the time for a break. We got the uh, sort of that. It's time for a break. I'll be back. And then we have uh, a few... Uh, a few more things. There we go. All right. I... Didn't add our level one to the timer, so I will also do that. And I will be back in two minutes. Be back in a bit.
Right, welcome back. The time uh, has come. It's time for us to go on the offensive. So, I've been thinking. Ooh, that's dangerous. So I, I like the idea of this. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking maybe we should design something around this. And I, I know it's not really the time to design things during uh, this kind of attack. But what if we could get... trying to do it as simple as possible. And a fidget spinner. And reminds to give away. Oh yes. Uh, do we have a moderator uh, who is available for that? I can run it. Thank you, Epic. Let's uh, run the uh, run that. Um, so, I will just try to explain how it works. Here. That could be a little design, right? And then all I need to do, I'm just going to try to see if I can get this to work. Woo! Um, to me? Yeah, sure. Also to me. There we go. And they will just start exchanging. Good. And that will hopefully spin around. All right, so giveaway. Thank you to Gamera Games, the developers of this beautiful game. They have uh, given me some keys for giving away during the live streams, so I will. Uh, the way it works, everyone has a fair chance. You will just need to be a follower on the channel because otherwise you can't type in chat. Um, the way it works is that Epic is going to write a keyword. And if you want to participate, then type the keyword. Please don't, don't participate if you already have the game and have nothing to use the key for. This is about getting it out to more people, not sort of having people to uh, sit and not really use anything. So um, that's how it works. Um, <laughs> then, yes, and it'll be like two minutes for writing that keyword. And if you have anything meaningful to ask or say during those two minutes, you can forget about it because they'll be full of spam. So with that uh, being said, I think we are... Uh, um, ready to to go. So Epic, you can type the keyword, and then uh, we'll see what happens. Can the keys be gifted with the holiday coming up? Yes, of course they can. I mean, I I I would rather have people only participate if they don't have the game and they are looking at it and go like, oh, this is awesome. I want to play this game, but you know. So, this is the giveaway, but you can't really give away a, a gift, right? That's Oof! What are we oofing about, Epic? Uh, and I need to find the two keys uh, so I can uh, share them with you in chat. Hey, hey Stinosko, thank you for the five gift subs. Proliferate. There and here and do, 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 do. keys. There we go. I'll share those with you in Discord. Yeah. Probably working. Well, that's probably a lie. Uh, and then I need to have something else in my uh, in what? Is it seriously? Is it oof? So I had uh, meant to type and just deleted it. Well, that, okay, uh, you just caused a hell of a thing. It's not that. It's not that. So chill with with that. Let's uh, let's see. Epic. Okay, you have two minutes to type. Not a mole. There we go. Not a mole. That's what you need to type. Cool. Does this work? Yes, it works. And this works. Okay, I like this. This is a cool little one. Um, let's actually just save it. It can definitely be improved, no doubt. And uh, let's no, let's get a two two blueprint. It'll start with a glorious that one, and then it'll have a little signals for the weirdy things down the corner there, so we know. It really also should have the um, storage thing, but cool. So, where do we have the first hive? That one. That's the one. Track it. Okay. 
Uh, how did I get power? Oh, right, the power is the power, so. Alright, I'm gonna go in completely reckless, so. That's kind of... If it doesn't work, that's totally my fault. Let's see what happens. I wonder if it actually can reach to here. If it can't reach, it can a little bit screwed, to be honest. Okay, this uh, argument's sake is that we also need something else here. One route available. Yes. Oh, it's coming. Oh, but as long as this thing here is built, all the other ones start shooting in. Lack of item? Oh, I forgot to bring more of these items. Oops. Ooh, this Mars Zero, thank you for the Prime. Uh, did you just uh, pledge on Patreon as well? Thank you so much for pledging on Patreon. Uh, I'll take... Um, I need some... <laughs> As a new protector of the path. Hey, hey Martin... NK won the giveaway. Congratulations! And who was the other giveaway? Let Nightbird decide. Why do I not see Nightbird? There we go. Martin has won the giveaway. And the second one? Oh, and a, a Defender's Wolf. Congratulations. Hopefully you will uh, enjoy those. And uh, let's put a few of those. So let's see if this actually does what I thought it would do. Let's also build one of these leech it here. So that should just start picking up all the junk so I don't have to. So can I also just put a tower here? It'll probably be a little bit too close, but if I do that, let's try and see what happens. If that gets shot, then that's kind of awful. It doesn't get shot, but now the barrage is... Oh, I thought missile turrets were good. They're insane. Oh my god, this is awful. Oh, I feel so sorry for the poor biters. Oh no. They just did not have a chance. Oh, I feel so sorry for them. Wow. That's so unfair. That is so unfair. That is so unfair. I, I kind of feel a little bit sorry for them. All right, where's the next one to feel sorry for? You can try geothermal. Oh, yeah, let's actually try geothermal on the next one. I don't have any more geothermal power plants, but yeah. So you want to attack us. Are you sure? I like this turret. This, uh, oh, is it full of junk already? No, I'm full of junk. Uh, could you use that and no turrets at all? Yes, but then they'd have to shoot from back here. That, this is going to be a junk box. Maybe keep one of these. After the stream yesterday, I booted up the game and started a new save. I built a bus up designed with expendable inputs. Sounds good. Did it work? Was it grand? We're going to be keeping this one. How's our power, actually? Because I feel we're wasting a lot of power with these. Dark Swarm is coming. All right. Let's actually just sit here and wait. Let's see when they go. When they go inside this, there should be a barrage from everyone. Over the horizon. That's so, so ridiculous. Okay. I'm gonna build it here so that line is still good enough.
Oh, we have lost uh, our drones, though. They're not as great as they could be. So. I think this is too far away. To bring this in. Please don't attack us yet. I'm just going to put in that one. Yeah, too far away. So, good thing we have this uh, manually placed. Not right now, okay? Good thing we have some backup from... from over the horizon. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> it's just so random. It doesn't seem safe to me. This does not seem safe. Oh, I'm still using that. Uh... Um, is there a way to to not filter? Oh, pick a ball, dark fog drop. Uh, okay, yeah, I don't know. I I don't know. Get this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Chillax there. That should cover the entire, entire base. Oh, hello. What? Is that it? Shoot more. Did they run out? They're not running out. Oh. Let's build it up here. Oh, they didn't run out. They 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 need to go. Yep, I think we got him. And let's take one of the towers. Uh, wow, they're good. Wow, they are. They are so good. I need one of these. Yeah, close all. Yeah, that's the whole point. Is we want to try to see what happens if I. Oh. Uh, there. Again. Oh, we got a little bit of aggro on the space fleet. That's good. Just in cleanser defenses are going to be breeze in early game. I don't know how they are going to be anything but a breeze. The amount we're going to be throwing in here. But I guess we have a... We'll see. Poof! Poof! And it also seals. Yes, it seals it. And then how much power are you going to make? Put output? 320%. It's not even that much. But if I take it out, it'll come... They'll come back. Not immediately, but let's see. Uh, this is... Let's see how much it goes to. 120. Okay, so, I mean, it's it's obviously better. But I don't really like... <sighs> let's build it. We'll build it. Oh, really? 14 units? Oh, no. Oh, no's. Oh, actually, it's a little bit done. Let's, uh, don't take that one out. Run! Let me go back and grab some more. Oh, uh, the next one is on this side. No, it's also on this side. All right, they're coming in. I drilled onto to the lava. Oh, look at that. See, this is what I don't like. Yeah. Then I guess 
the solution to this would be like, oh, whatever, I don't want to put defenses. I can just put this tower next to it, and then I know that it'll be safe because anything that comes in will be shot at anyone else. Oh, did we try another giveaway? So someone didn't accept it, so... New winner was previously winner did not respond after multi attempts to claim the prize. Perfect. Um, so, Infinity Shadow. Good. Someone we've seen uh, recently here on the uh, on the channel. So, good. It's fifteen. Um, I'm gonna go back and grab some more stuff, and that's the best way to navigate on a planet when you don't have a clue what's what. What is just doing this way. Yes, like that. Shift, right click, and then it will automatically uh, uh, pa go there. And if they don't plug the hole, will they come back? Yes, but um, if you plug the hole with, that seems to also block it. You, you want to block it because as soon as I put it in there, they, the relay station left. And I have lots of this. I have a few of these. New game. Game has been distributed. Thank you, Epic, for uh, handling all of that stuff. That was very nice. And then I do again. Copy. Uh, who voted for... Uh, they would have a, have a chance against our missile barrage. Because that is uh, not likely. You don't need gun turrets anymore. No, I don't need gun turrets. I love the missile tur turrets before, but they just, they are a little bit better than I thought. Wow. A little bit unreasonably good. Don't lose faith. Uh, in what? In, in, I don't think, I don't feel I'm losing faith here. I feel I am having a very, very much faith in all of this. Uh, let's see. I want that box to be closer to me. There. Oh, don't shoot just yet. Oh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let it rain. This one's already, <laughs> it's already gone now. <laughs> It's actually marked as red when it's dead with the incoming. Oh, they're also coming the other way. Oh, 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 don't you dare shoot. <laughs> now they're coming from all around the world. Yeah, so they're marked as red when they are actually dead. They just don't know it yet. See, they're... See, that's is red. It's already dead. Dead. wonder where these are coming from. They were just sort of roaming, I guess. Uh, they're pretty sturdy. Um, I can't even see what the health is. That's weird. 3,000 hit points. Cool. Right, this one I'm just... Am I going to... Units remain... Hmm. Where? Oh. And I think it will be t we'll be using this part for power, right? Oh no! Look at that. Oh, that's why. Are we coming? Fly faster. All right, this is... That was just in the last second, and then we're going to pick these two up once they're healed. Done and done. Thank you. And we now have... Uh, there. Shift. They could have their fire rate half, and it'd still be great. Yes, I did look at that. Oh, they started rebuilding. Well, that was a mistake. 
And it's still not really getting any threat. Hmm. I'm a little disappointed that we can't get any significant threat from uh, from these. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. So it's from this location. Yeah, there are better missiles as well. Antimatter missiles. Seems pretty good. Um, let me see. Do I have enough ammo? It's not a lot of ammo. Oh, I have a lot of ammo. It's okay. It's okay. And let's build it. That's a little bit risky. I get you in as well. And then get... They don't aggro until... Okay, now they aggro, so... fine it's fine units remain hmm but where did they go they fled for good reason oh three of them are off to right okay yep 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 this one doesn't know it's dead yet now it knows it's dead And again, it didn't really cause much threat here. And it is now our planet. Huh. What's the consensus on the combat system? I thought it was really great, but right now it's super amazing feature-wise, but it's also just ridiculously overpowered. <laughs> like, how fast was this just taking an entire planet? And it, it, there was literally no threat. Should attack the mothership? Yeah, I know. I should have. But we can always just open one of these up again, and then it will, it will come back. Yeah. I don't know. It just seems uh seems a little crazy. Those are just zero bases, yeah. Still. The thing is like the, the the range is is not really something you can argue against, right? Expect it to be more difficult than other systems. I maybe, hopefully. And uh, it's also gonna be interesting because then like, we did have a little bit of pressure in the beginning to get started. He's just channeled one devil. Yes. Hmm. So, only... Yeah. Yeah, we have a good ammo production, and this is a good setup. I, I love the idea. It's just that maybe a little bit too good. I love the idea, but it's also just a little bit weird that missile turrets can then reach the entire globe. That's, that, that's very uh, impressive. Uh, the hive is the dangerous thing, yes, but you can't, but that's also like, you can't just, you just can't touch it. You can't touch this. And it's only a level zero hive. It's so weird, right? We can just, we can take out this entire hive cluster. Now there's only one location left in this one. And then once we take that out, this will never evolve any further because, you know, that's just it, right? Uh, there's nothing we can do on either of these planets that makes this increase in hostility. But this one doesn't go up. That's the thing. This doesn't go up in unless we do something. It seems really weird. Hmm. Uh... It has no way of putting... Oh, it can send more bases out. It uh, it will once in a while send out a, a new relay station. From here, and then it'll build a relay station, and then it'll send it to one of the planets, and then build it. So it can actually repopulate our main planet whenever we, 
pathway. So you kind of need some kind of static defenses on a planet to just avoid them being repopulated. Uh, does it increase with our less traffic? We have no idea. Uh, I don't think so, but... Hmm. Like, as cool as it was to just absolutely slaughter them, it also kind of feels a little uh, anticlimactic that, well, now it's just back to the normal game because there's nothing more to, to do here. Right? Can I fly up to the base? Yes, I can, but then they'll kill me. They, they'll probably do nothing for a while, but eventually they will kill me. All right, we're flying back. So, we need to find some titanium and build... Just a single titanium built here. How much uh, silicon do we have? Oh, we have two silicon deposits. So I think I'm going to deconstruct this one. I think we have enough of this one now. Yeah. There. Fine, because you also don't want biters killing, biting them to become a tedious nuisance. That's absolutely true. Um, if you kill the orbiting base, means the plants are safe. I think so. 10% of your Dyson spheres swarm upward if you don't take them out. Oh, interesting. I haven't got that far. So, and you can see it was 167 and it'll just continue to be in 167 and there's nothing that happens beyond that. But I think this was a good blueprint. If we want to make it a little better, then we make it a little bigger. But then we also include the um, the orbital base here, the battlefield analysis base in the blueprint, and then it'll be glorious. Missiles at the poles and radar curtain, maybe. Um, they don't cover all of it, but um, do cover some. Um, like this range isn't very big when it really comes down to it. And it has a idle cost, which is significant on my home plan, but not really significant here. Plenty of shield is, is true. Couldn't it make So what I'm what I'm uh, what I'm thinking here is that it's a little bit of a shame that I am I'm not really there's no pressure. The biters are completely neutralized now. That's the part I'm eh. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe take one of these spots. Where do we have them? Oh, this one we just closed. One of the ones that we have open. Like maybe take this one and then build like normal ammo turrets around it so that it allowed, allowed to resettle. And then once it's resettled, allow it to build up and then just kill them as they go out. I can't increase difficulty without sti uh, starting over. Is there a Volving Dark Fog around the other systems as well? Yes. But I can't see that yet, can I? I don't think so. Uh, Sabrika I think of the 51 months. Yay, DSP. Back it is. Uh, is that the closest? It doesn't... Requires universe uh, exploration level three, which we do not have. Okay, let's get some titanium. We need to build some titanium and we need to build just a single titanium location here. Let's take that one. This one looks like a good patch, good size, good sort of density to it. So that's the one we're going to be using for... So we want to make three things on this planet. We want to make titanium, and we want to make silicon, and we want to make uh, a processor build as well. And once you have that, we are good to go. And we'll just leave this running and put it into nice big boxes and then we can come back later on and pick it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
Perfect. So that can be two belts of titanium out. Is it really only like this? Does this take one per second titanium? Yeah. So one per second. This will only make one output built. Hmm. That's not much. I'll get another one in here. Yeah. And look. Let's remember the usual thing here that we always want to have. Yeah. Whee! Off you go. But then I can just focus on designing and then they can focus on building. Ah, it's too early. And then cut. Oh, wait, hold on. I just need marbles. Let's get here, 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 and here. Then I copy. Ah, stupid fault lines. And build this again. King shaming, but that is some a very kinky belt. Oh, this one never got built, so no wonder it's not doing much. Uh, let me just place. What does it do? Um, yes, this one. This is basically giving us twelve additional construction drones. It is uh, supposed to be picking up stuff from when it's supposed to be built along your your perimeter so you have your defensive perimeter and you build this which will the construction will repair uh, rebuild and they will also pick up material debris on the ground so that just takes care of all of it you can also have uh, defensive units in here to have to have it defend itself and um, you can control what it will uh, actually pick up and that's pretty good but um, it, the main point I'm using it for is the fact that it has 12 drones by just plopping it down. So I plop it down every time I need to build something because I have six drones and I can just double my, more than double my build speed, right? By uh, by putting this one in. So that's why I'm building it quite often just for that. Not for the battlefield analysis, but just for construction support. five there's a six here there built it one two three four five nine okay So these two go together and then it's 13, that's fine. Um, so that will be... First things first. Build this. And now it'll be easier to build it. Oh wow, we almost have no... 
belts left. I bought several thousand belts, but nope. This takes so much belts to do this. Um, I don't know, somewhere out here. Actually connected. Great. And that will give us, I don't know, 12, 24, the titanium per second. Pretty good. Obviously, we're going to build boxes here. Much better to build an ILS, but that is not a thing. So that's just done. We'll do the uh, the titanium shuffle when we go home, and that will be that. Good. Now we'll do the basically the same build for uh, for this, and the other one is there. Well, I still have power nearby, so that's not so bad. Mm. Do this. Paste. Mm. Kind of does make sense to use yellow belts for long range and then use the pillar. What? No. Uh, so do we also need to move other stuff here. We need to basically set up all our mining operations in this location. Okay, so how many can we get from this? We definitely cannot get enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can I see how many? Four? Okay, so that's a bad one. That's a uh, five, five, six, five, seven, six, four. So let's forget that one and then take, I don't know. Okay, my screen just <laughs> turned off. Oh, what? Why? Oh. That's too close? Okay. I'll fix it. Fly out. And... I think we're gonna run out of belts before we do anything else. Yeah, 32 belts. Lovely! Uh, 22 belts. Well, it's not really going to cut it, is it? Nope. Lack of items. <laughs> 
we can still build something and we can still get something in here and obviously we'll just need to change it to silicon got one thing back home we forgot to actually set up a location to catch this if you put a stacker you can put it on one lane you mean this one that I can't do because it's yellow signs Did they finally implement blueprints? Uh, no, they implemented blueprints uh, a year ago. And I don't really have a point to use the stackers at all for these kind of things. It, I feel it's wasted. Okay. Um, what can we do now? We cannot do anything except just pick up some things and then fly home. I don't want to be fishing for a few belts here and there. This is, uh, it is what it is. Oh, planetary base. Well, hello. Hello, planetary base. Huh. So, should we keep this one alive? Keep giving you, <laughs> yeah, 380 your thermal. Kill the relay. Hmm. So, you are still not getting anything. And you are still not anything. I think it inherits it. It's funny that it's just exactly 167. Uh... Oh, look at that. It comes in with a, uh, a delivery. And then starts building. Hmm. Kill the space parts to bust. Okay, let's uh, let's do a vote. So, uh, kill the relay station, which will aggro, cause a lot of aggro. Um, that's one option. The other one is uh, keep it contained so that we just let it build up and spawn uh, raids. And then uh, we have sort of a safe build that whenever it comes in, we just shoot it. Uh, or just kill it and move on. Like, can we can a moderator make those the three options? Then uh, we'll see. Give it two minutes and channel points uh, as well. I'll just uh, manage a little bit of output in the meantime. Be back in a bit. Missed the third option. That was uh, just kill it and move on. Like, just remove it like the other ones. Can do a poll with three options, but not predictions. They're definitely not predictions, but it's a, it's, it's a, uh, it's a vote. What should we do? There we go. Now there's a vote coming up. Let's have a look. And uh, kill the relay station. <laughs> of course. Seal the hole and keep it as a, oh. Yeah, keep it as is. That's the keep it as is is, um, is just a, a boxed in. Ah, oh, man, I don't think you're a... Hmm. We just need to... Basically, we just need to switch these to upper air as well. And then uh, just build a relay station nearby. And then, poof, everything happens, right? Any benefit to keeping it alive? Yes. Uh, they will continue to generate enemies and continue to generate threat, and we kill them, and then it'll just be perpetually just farming uh, farming this uh, the hive level, basically. I can't afford the democracy, probably. Well, you should be around more often. Oh, wow. Someone really wants to see some uh, some action there. 
There'll be more plants or bases. Yeah, I mean, this one came in quite uh, quite rapidly. Oh, did they just send in more? They are. Look at that. They are really insistent on making this into something. Plants or base. Oh, it only has a little bit of matter right now. Um, and they call it, yeah, they drop a little bit of, of random junk. But, you know. All right, so let me think about how I want to do this. Um, because as soon as I... If I want to kill it, I just place a signal tower next to it and it goes whoosh and it's everything is dead. <laughs> After bombs and biters, yes. Mm. I wish you could select all of them and then set them all to upper here. I guess this is what's going to happen, right? Yep. Re kill the relay station. All right, we'll kill the relay station. I'm going to take a save first just to... Uh, just to see. All right, let's keep an eye on this. This is 167. This is 167. Nothing interesting here. I'll set this to uh, low priority to kill upper air. There. And then the station as well. So that's seven locations that have now been set. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I actually want to do that one. Because then I can see where the next... Mm -hmm. Over here, there's another one. I think the chat collectively just want to see the world burn. There's another one here. We're setting all of them to do this, which means next time it's also going to be bad. And this is going to be fun. And moving on. Okay, so where's the turret? It's over here. Let's see, do we have anything nearby? No, they've actually found a safe space. <laughs> or so they thought. Over the horizon, here. Check if they have missiles. They'll have missiles. That's, they're fine. Otherwise, it's just going to be fun. So, I don't need to actually build... I mean, I don't need to do anything here. I just need to build a... a signal tower. Oh! So this is low priority. Now that one's dead. Then they start shooting at the relay station. Okay. Oh, they don't like this. They don't like it. Let's see if... They did not like it. Got about half a level. But they still don't increase. They just got a little bit of it. Hmm. Like the XP here, the XP did not increase. Uh, it went from 167 to 180, so they got 13 XP from this. Weird. Um, but the threat level increased a lot. Okay, let me grab one more of uh, these smelting stations here. Smelting stations. Geothermals. Yeah. Long way off. Let's see where we are. Could be from any direction. Does the Dark Fog Hive threat mean a new base or a big attack from space? It's a big attack from space. Uh, the threat from the Hive means that they'll send three ships out with uh, to, to just do strafing runs. Which is not cool. Uh, where are we? 
Oh, we're flying over here. And then let's just take some of this. And find the other location again. Yeah. Is it good? No, it's not. It's it's when it gets to hundred percent, bad stuff happens, and that's something I don't know how we can defend on the home planet. But we definitely should. We should definitely have these kind of of setups. But even in space, they don't need to be in range. They just need to be close to the planet. So, I'll just tap that, and I'll tap this one because I don't need that. Nice fifteen, almost fifteen. Okay. The good news about this was um, this uh, kept us occupied for a little bit, so we can we've now accumulated a lot more titanium for our journey home. And let's do the titanium shuffle. How much more power versus just putting it in lava? Uh, putting in the lava is about 120%, but uh, putting there is 310%, so about three times as much power as as uh, anywhere else. Cool. Here's a neat trick that uh, some might say is cheating don't care let's get rid of stuff here uh, let's just uh, mm. just want to get rid of the iron part there that one There's an achievement for it, so it's not cheating. Oh, that's actually a good point. Good point. Yoink. Yoink. Oh, I always do this. It's a really good idea to start by marking where the hell we're going. Otherwise, you're just going to get lost. So you're going to have an infinite amount in your hand. So we have now 22,000. Sounds good. Oh, do I have enough uh, fuel to get home? I guess we'll find out. Okay, it is going back up. So let's get a little bit more speed, but not too much more. It's risk reward. It's, it's are you stupid and, and get impatient on your way home and go, hey, let me just check the map. Whoops. I drop one piece of junk uh, on each of the starter plans so I can track the dropped item to know where I'm going rather than making a waypoint. Oh, that's really weird. <laughs> I think it was that because of all the accidents. Probably. It's fun. I mean, they could have prevented this from happening if they didn't want it, but. Do it now is how I found out. There's an achievement for losing 10k items in space. All right. What is this game? Dyson Sphere Program. Best damn factory space game. Not that there are many factory space games, but it's the one. Our illustrious champion returns. Oh, that was my Stream Deck uh, disconnecting. Hopefully I'm still here. Still around. And uh, help any. Thank you for the 13 months. A little bit more speed. Still here. Good. And it's also time for a break when we land safely back home and splatter titanium everywhere. We are so out of everything on this. <laughs> Look at that. That's just a symptom of how bad, the, how bad the situation is on this planet. We don't have anything. Let's find out where this... Go when you drop it. No. And what you always forget, what I always forget before going, is uh, put down some boxes so you can uh, put stuff in here. Because now I have to do... Oops. Uh, 
as a little tedious this part. Uh, we are also going to do here. Unfortunately, the drones are coming in with stuff. Uh, okay, it's only only that. That's fine. Give me six thousand in each, and they are four high, so I should be able to have twenty-four thousand. It's always the last one. It's always the last one. Welcome home. Always the last one. That's the last one. Bye. There. Woohoo! Um, have you have considered using the battle stations? Uh, no, I have not. Um, that's true. That could actually have just picked it up. Just plop it down and then pick it up. It would take a little bit of time. <laughs> a little bit of time. Um, also, it is a decent inventory. 60. That's the same inventory size as this. So it's not bigger in inventory. But it can pick up stuff. Good. And this one. Right. So we're back here. Except that's not really what we want. Let's, uh, let's try to figure out what it is we want. Um, I think that what we want is we want to make sure that we have some defense on this planet. Because if I start doing this again, then they send in and they do a strafing run that goes... <laughs> and then I have nothing else. What is science up to? Uh, science is up to waiting for us to get uh, yellow signs. Oh, this, this one. Forgot. I think that's the only one. A few. Oh, explosive. Mm, explosive units. Ugh. I saw it needed sulfur. You. No, no, nothing else. I don't think we have anything else up here. No. Planetary shield. No, 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 no. Space fleet. Space fleet. Nope. Nope. Nothing left. Venge utilization. These ones are also carriers. Sodas. Fleets. Solar. Yeah. So what we need. What the hell? What what are you doing there at this level? What? Okay, this is illogical. Okay, that means we need to click more. Oh, yeah, that's the last of the science. There we go. Uh, titanium crystal is so tedious to build. Yes. So let's let's think about what it is we want to do now. Um, in order for us to move on with the game, we need to make pink containers so we can get um, planetary logistics. Planetary logistics is not as important right now. Probably don't do vacation. Let's do a vacation. Um, but it's actually in order for us to get interstellar logistics because we need to really move over to the other planet because we just don't have iron here and we need to make sure that we send iron and copper back here because we're running out and that has to be a little bit expedient. Do you have an ice giant? Uh, no, I have a, a fire ice. Yes, ice giant. Yes, I do. But that's not the most important. The important thing is working towards ILS, so we can uh, get a two interstellar logistics and one planet, and then we start sort of sending iron and copper back, so we can keep working on this base. That means yellow science. Not necessarily, because you know, I could skip yellow science and just do this one. It's only 120. Huh. But I need, okay, so, 20 here and that one that's 200 i know i have 200 here hiding oh break Shoot. break and let me just check how much what does it say it says four hours so that means we are continuing until 3 a.m so there's still a potential for one more hour that can be added to the uh, the marathon today Let's see. So anyway, be back in two minutes.
something happened. You shall not pass. Neutralize the relay station before it lands on a planet. <laughs> um, pretty cool. <laughs> I, uh, I was not, um, cool. It didn't trigger that much excess here. Huh. Just nuked a dude in orbit. A <laughs> dude in orbit. It's a relay station. It's not a dude. But okay. Cheers. My CBC broke a week ago and I'm not able to play the game. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Then out of nowhere, one of my favorite YouTubers went live for the whole weekend. Ah, oh, thank you. Who is that? Ah. That was... <laughs> Kill that cat. Yeah. That's a very, very niche reference. That's a reference to to Danish? Who got that reference? At least for me it's a <laughs> I think every German got it. Yeah, it's a it's a German thing. We got nothing. It's a birthday for one. Isn't that what it's called in, in English? It's, it is a time-honored New Year's tradition in Denmark. Uh, at half past 11, there is on uh, dinner for one. Dinner for one. Yes. Don't know if uh, where it... So probably it hasn't reached across. There will probably be someone who doesn't know it. So I'll explain it. So... There's this old black and white sketch thing about 10 minutes called Dinner for One, where there's an old lady and her butler, and she's having a dinner party with six of her friends, but they're all dead. So they're just, the butler has to play, act out all of the, all of the roles and also drink for all of them. And he gets more and more <laughs> drunk over the course of, uh, of the dinner. And it just, it's just, it, it's really old school comedic and it's fun and it's just tradition and you can, you know all the lines and Admiral von Steider. <laughs> yeah, the, don't forget the protagonist, the carpet, the, uh, but then this is one of those things like, is it a polar bear or is it a tiger? No, it's polar bear, right? It's polar bear. And it's everything like, oh, same procedure as last year. Same procedure as every year, James. Even the whole walking up to her room at the end of the night, same procedure as last year, same procedure as every year. Haven't seen it in ages. It's a tiger. Okay, it's a tiger. Research is red. Yeah, I noticed. Um, this is this line is acutely empty. So I think red science. I, I don't think science is red. I think science is not red. There we go. It was just uh, overfilling hydrogen. So let me just ignore that problem for a little bit and then let it go again right that should keep going right yes so this will gradually start going again as this Hydrogen gets emptied, slowly, but it will. Cool. It'll get started again. Who knows started that tradition, uh, or was it just cousin from BBC? I have no idea. But it's it's West German. It also says something about when it was made, right? All right. Let's see. What was it we wanted to do? Um, Oh yeah, we want to go back and get the yellow signs that we have in store. Ooh, hydrogen stockpile. Oh yes, we can do hydrogen fuel there. Um, all right, this is this box. Box of goodies. Yes, hydrogen stockpile will be converted, yep. There. 
and the red one uh, there let's have a look and why it's not or is it not still not coming in should be like a little bit coming in right get more belts nope that's not uh, what we do right now there's a time and a place for that there we go it has started up again that's all we need to know all right so let's get a little bit of titanium and a little bit of uh, let's uh, get the titanium actually make that available to a fidget spinner And that will be distributed to everyone who wants it. And you can also distribute to anyone who wants it. There we go. And who wants it? This is probably going to be too far away. But I guess we'll find out. There. That's going to be like a small build. Um, that one. And you are going to make there. I don't know how long we need, how much we need of it. We can fill it up. We also need to make uh, graphene. He said, begrudgingly. Uh, titanium. So available roots. That's... Oh, there we go. Now it's... There. And I want to get... The fact that they shift around different places, it's just... It's beyond me why that it is like that. But, well, wait a, whatever. <clears throat> Do I have titanium in inventory? Nope. So, the research has started up again, slowly. Right, so let's make the graphene. Oh, I know. I uh, I rely heavily on fidget spinners in this playthrough. Any idea how the impact performance? Everything in this game is just super good performance. I don't know. That's, that's all I can say. And that's maybe a little bit sort of narrow-minded, but I just feel that's the case. Ah, oh, thank you, past me. Thank you. Oh, I like past me. Past me is nice. Look at that. What do we want inbound? We want uh, some stone and some oil and some coal. We have coal over here. Oh, man, thank you, past me. And some oil right here. Oh, that's glorious. Uh, is Dyson Sphere a single player game? Yes. It is. Oh, oh, someone forgot to pick that up. Uh, that is. Let's get rid of this. Yes. And that one. Oh, we do have 12 of the five of those. Yeah. Oh, exhausted soon. That one. Boop, 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 boop. But that's okay because we're getting this one. I don't even want to panic about it. See? Hydrogen fuel immediately coming in. Come on. Give me some hydrogen fuel. Ah, oh, come on, give, yeah, four. It didn't wait, I did not run out. I did not run out. Communications control three. What was that again? Now I can do high strength, oh. Oh, the horror. Uh, okay, and chemical plant. Oh, the first chemical plants are built. We also ran out of belts. That was the reason why we actually went home from the planet. Uh, let's get you. You okay? You're okay. Get back to action. Get back in action here. And unfortunately, this is one of those cases where this is not particularly helpful. Because I would then need to get some belts in here and get some... I don't know. Some of this, some of this. <laughs> Praise past me. No, no, it did not work. Yes, you can only blame. Here we only uh, shoot blame at people. We don't... Uh... It's so funny that you can press Q for this, but not really for anything else. Mysterious. 
And stone is something we actually have on this planet. Oh, water. Okay, I know this was like an almost good blueprint. There's just something with me and water pumps, so we'll take those 12 and put them to good use up in this little pond. Just a little bit of less left. That's a resource gathering. Up. No, not connected there. So that's connected now. Um, how much oil do we need inbound? Oh, right, there was a mistake on this. Oops. Yes, I copied it before I found the mistake. Oh, stop that. Oh. Curse you, past Nilos. Curse you. I did some awful, awful miscalculation. It's not two of them, it's eight of them, I think. So, yes. It needs a little more space, and since that one is here, it has to be shunted the other way. I need more space. Okay, you get going on this, and then I will figure out what is missing here. I'll just take all of this out. Never mind. Yes, so let me uh, try one more time. So I have six of these. That means it's one per second. So I need six of the light oil. You are going to make one light oil every two seconds. So I need 12 of these in order for me to get to six per second. Yes. That means this whole build here has to be different. Um, and this above here, also, uh, all of this has to be just, just, oops, I didn't do, I did something. Because now it's three by three. And there was a belt down the middle, wasn't there? Absolutely was. And that's still the output belt, so. Then we have to remember if we build it this close, I can't build power ports between them. These refineries are not my friends. So I have now. This is going to be the output of the oil. Then I will have an input and a hydrogen. Okay, so input will probably be nice if it was something like this. No, I have to. That one, and then this is output. That's the hydrogen output, and then I built. And the hydrogen output, and then I'm gonna check chat for something that I have, something obvious that I have forgotten. Mm. 
And there's a splitter later. Yeah, I know, but it, yeah. I'll do it this way. I'll have the sawdust do this, uh, do the filtering. There we go. And then we do confirm. Yes, there's room for power in here. High steel titanium alloy is awful to build. Just plain awful. I love the fact that we shot something down in orbit. That is so cool. Did, no. No, you don't. It is probably pretty tough to land on this planet. Oh, someone is flying out here. They're going to Gyna Cube. Oh, look at that. They found a new target. Sorry, Gyna Cube. You are infected. Oh, right, this com blueprint, let's be honest, it wasn't complete complete, because, <laughs> as you can see here, uh, did not have uh, have the outputs yet configured either. But I just built it and I was like, yes, I got something. All right, I need to build these separately, so let's see. Uh, the First things first is, this is an inbound, yes, and then I want outbound hydrogen, and then I want outbound light oil. That's how these three look. I have no idea, no, I, I have. I actually have an idea. They're not going to be copy-pasted to that one, because that will be incorrect. So, now I'm going to do input and hydrogen output. The way to do filtering is ridiculously good. Like, again, something that... That Dyson Sphere just does better than anyone else. Like, why is it so good? Makes no sense. So easy to do filtering. Oh. What? There. I get to do it a million times because of my mistakes here. Good. And then I still have the other one. So this is my oil coming in somehow. And I also have uh, Oh this these copied incorrectly because the belts were missing. There. Where are they going? Mincy cleansing of the lava planet. Oh, it was glorious. Uh, there. Get more in here. Look at the missile factory. It uses the same stuff. I was talking about the belt mixing. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do belt mixing. It's just that's more of a religious thing than anything else. This is... Oh. Oh. Hold on. I... I think this works as a splitter. It should work as a splitter, right? Not like Factorio where you can't rely on things being 50-50 split. No, no. Here it's... If it's coming out, then it's good. And that one will be going up to this location and then going down. Please be. Oh, I got the feeling that that would work. Yeah. And then I just need the hydrogen, which I can just put into. <clears throat> that might only output 
to one side if tank is not full. Really? Let's see. That did not work. All right. Testing. Why did you copy factorial features? <laughs> this was not the time and the place to copy a factorial feature. And now in my frustration I also <laughs> removed the other one that worked just fine. Doesn't matter. We'll we'll do this. Then it works. Okay. And then all I need now is And this one also gets a fidget spinner on top or a hat on top. A little hat, a tiny little hat. And now I need stone in, but I need to figure out how much stone I need. Uh, here I need eight per second. Okay, that's easy. Um, then over here I need three, six per second. Okay, but no sugar cubes. And we also need more coal. Oh. Um, there, more oil, I mean, here's another oil. Let's do that. If only we had something that would help us build stuff faster. but not out of range anymore uh, this oil or this coal has to make what was it six per second six per second so I need 12 oil got anything yeah we got something mm. also I really think I should uh, okay hold on I'll, I'll make a difference I'll make a change here So while it's not really working right now, let's uh, just use it to stack up. There. Right. Um, I'll be honest. Just because it was 2D and didn't feel like there was a lot of freedom, I'm really weird. Would you recommend this game for someone who doesn't like Victoria but loves Satisfactory? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, because I think there are also other people in this uh, community who get turned off by the look and feel of Factorial. And I can totally understand it. I don't I think you need to be understanding the gameplay of Factorial to to appreciate a factorial playthrough while if you are just hanging out and watching and having something then this well it's nighttime it is always nighttime when i'm playing apparently but um it can be really pleasant and you can just enjoy being in the world when playing and being in the world while watching 
Factory doesn't really have that. You have to have sort of a, a, dis, a an interest in the aesthetic of just seeing belts being nicely saturated and going, mmm, that's so beautiful. Look at that saturated belt of blue circuits. And for someone who's not into that, it, it just looks like a blue line on the on the map, and it's not really that interesting. Uh, it sort of left me with feeling unsatisfied, but I love DSP. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of awe moments in DSP, and there are a lot more now. <laughs> like, just just look at that when, with all the missile turrets, which is going absolutely crazy. So, yeah. I did this game, but I didn't manage to capture me like Victoria due to missing a big enough puzzle element. And again, I enjoy pure. Okay. Yeah, I understand that. I can, I can do that. Um, there's, there's sort of a thing in. Um, when you get to a late game, it's you don't do so much design. You are just stamping down more of the same existing designs. So and it's a little bit of a shame, I think. By a little bit, I mean quite a lot of a shame on that. Um, I'm going to design the same thing I've designed a hundred times already. So let's let's go. That one. So this doesn't have as much puzzle element, but it still has a lot of strategic thinking and planning ahead and all that good stuff. And that will be graphite and be more graphite. This is actually going to be twice as much graphite as I need, but hey, whoever complained about twice as much graphite as they, they needed. I think a lot of people actually did. There. And did I just build it so that it matched perfectly? It's not even one off. It's a little bit embarrassing that it's not one off. We have traditions. Yeah, and uh, exactly like Dyson spheres at uh, when you just see the whole thing. I, I okay. I was sitting on my phone and just looking at new uh, Dyson sphere content to see if uh, if anything had come out, and then I was like browsing and sorting and just see who sort of the competition on the Dyson Sphere um, content creator space. And I saw my black hole video and I it just a little ran a little preview and I was like, this is so cool. This is so awesome. Ah, oh, this is so cool. I was like, damn. Oh, yeah. I, I actually just <laughs> generally just watched my own video because it was just so aesthetic to, to rewatch that to just that massive planet of just launching and launching and launching it's that was also more of an exercise in uh, in in patience than anything else that's eight okay let's get that one a little bit better here Aren't that many of those kind of instances in Factorio? So yeah. <clears throat> Six to fix blooper now? Nah. I'm never gonna need it again. Right. So now I need to find some stone. More specifically, eight stone. You? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can, you can sneak in here. Yes, let's sneak. Compared to the picture, scale feels so small. Mm, I think that is... 
I think Dyson Sphere really is good at giving that sense of awe and how big it is. Like, imagine the game was just one planet. It would be a fine game. A fine little indie game that you could enjoy and you'd have a lot of fun with. But no, 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 no. That's not the way we went. They went like, no, no, no. That's just the starting. That's the early game. End of tutorial. It would be in a fine game. Look at some of the games we played that we've been enjoying. Um, like the hexagonal thing where you built cities. And it was, it was a nice little game. It was super fun. But, you know, it was also just very constrained in its scope. Because, But that was okay. Because it's, it's an indie game. But that's what I really love about Dyson Sphere, how ridiculous the scale of it and performance and look and feel of it is so amazing. And then, yeah, because it is so big, there's also some tedious moments about hooking up yet another mining location. So now everything is ready, just missing a dash of uh, stone in here. And that should be coming in. Eventually. Okay, they're, they're picking up something. Oh, right, the stone got in. Yay! Alright, so the elusive sulfur, or sulfuric acid, is coming. And it's going in here. I will also do something else. That's kind of forbidden when you build that ratio but uh, we desperate times and desperate measures and all that good stuff when it fills up it'll just continue to flow in here because I'm gonna need some sulfuric acid soon for the titanium alloy plates of awfulness uh, and then not that much just as much yeah so that means whenever this saturates it might take a little while but it actually you know I don't actually want this much um, it's a it's an illusion that I want this much. Let's just ah oh, let's just get going. But there's really no reason for it. There, that's good. And with this done, we can now build the better assemblers. Ta -da! Hmm. Processes. That's interesting. Should I then take... Hmm. I think I should. Because I have it on the bus, so why not? It, uh, have it on the bus is a little bit of an overstatement, but, you know... <clears throat> okay. Oh, right. It, it actually only works when... Okay. Right. And this one. Lack of items. How, how is it using more items when I do it this way? It makes no sense. Hmm. <laughs> and I don't even know what to do now. Uh, like that. It's the yellow button. You don't have greens. I know, I know, I know. It's, it's, but it, somehow I... Of course, I should upgrade the whole thing eventually, but uh, well, we have another little kind of issue here, and that's the acute lack of, of, uh, of processes. But we will build processes back home on the other back home uh, on the new planet uh, on Gloom and Raged. Yep. Okay, so the other thing you need. There and there. Don't 
output and output. This inbound crap and graphene. Woof! <laughs> Off we go. And you will be providing also to me with what you have. That comes in now. Mm, yeah, processes are kind of not really working. Where are the processes going? Oh, they're going into fidget spinners, and I keep just munching on the fidget spinners. So, yeah. I'm just going to get a little bit so we can get... Oh, that would be so lovely if we could have a few of these built. Mm. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Um, we can take this sulf the silicon that we just brought back and feed it back into where we need to go. Yeah. There we go. So we get a little bit of this. And, and honestly... Let's get more. Then I can also take these and just feed them. Oh, no, I can't. Damn. Have to be here. There. I hope it works. And let's get this part. Probably some mine ran out of process ability. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, uh, I know why. It's because I'm using the, uh, the stone here and that's somehow disappearing quite rapidly. There, got a little bit in. Oh, wasn't there supposed to be something on top here? Okay, never mind. This is <laughs> not working. It's even so bad that one of them is... Yeah. Nope. Oh, that one was actually working. Oops. All right. Well, it's going to run out anyway. I can take this and keep it going for a little bit, but I don't think it's worth it. I think I need the answer is to get it, get it properly. And let's see, that is priority. Okay, um, no, that's priority. That's what I mean. Here we go. So I just ignore that problem. Not a big deal. And didn't even think that it would be this big of a deal here. Those are the ones that are cranking. And I really, really want to get rid of this and, and just bring only assembly machines two over here. But <clears throat> the processors are not saying the same thing. So I think we have to go back and let's see. If I just grab all the processors that are sort of stuck on a belt somewhere, there aren't really any. There's only a little bit here, like that one. That's all the processors that got stuck on a belt. Yeah. Processors on the home planet, not a good idea. What do you need for ILS uh, processors, <laughs> among many other things? And how many does it take? It takes four, so it's it's not that bad, I guess. The question is just how many I want. Six? Mm, not really. 
But maybe I just have to accept it and, and just go, well, too bad. We're going to have to build it with uh, yellow belts, with these ones instead. I guess that's the core of it. And we brought 4,000 belts. God damn it. That's uh, that's what it needs to do. And here. Oh, um, we need... Oh, 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 oh. I need to use this. There. And insert us. 600. Yes. So I still not have that open. I want to get those in here. I get those in here. It's a good way of hiding stuff. Get us a little bit extra room for stuff. And then also that one. That's also something we'll have. That one. And then some things I don't want anymore. Oh my god, I keep doing this. Nope. 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 Just clean it out and... Okay, what else do we think we're missing for another round? <laughs> we need more turrets because, I mean, of course we do. A kind oh, a kind gesture. Who is that? Enram, thank you for 200 bits. <coughs> Sorry. Mm, boxes, yes. Good boxes. Yeah, so uh, in terms of updates on the hype train, we are currently scheduled to end at... 3 o'clock, 3 a.m., which is technically a an hour earlier than we could end. So we're still room to uh, to grow if we want that. There. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, you know what I really want? I want those amazing signal towers here. I don't think I can build signal towers, but could we? If you could, signal tower. No, well, yes, maybe, kind of. Yes, let's do that. Kind. Hey, Swammer, thank you for the 200 bits. Did you get enough sleep? Sure, that's that's not really. If I didn't get enough sleep, I would be saying like, oh, I have to go to bed, I, I need more sleep. Yeah, those still, they don't belong on the bus here. Versus ground versus air. Hmm. Yeah, so they are. Probably just use a lot of power. More miners, that's a good point. We need more miners. Two hundred. It's nice to see this. Zwish. More geothermal? Yeah, that's also a good idea. Although that is also using processes, right? I'm never going to use it for anything except that planet, so why not? Uh, do I have enough hats? In 24 hats? Yes. Alright, so we've got more miners. And I got a lot of this. It's always like when we get there, I got realized like, oh yeah, actually we need a lot of something that I didn't think of. Yeah. We'll get this. How many do we have now? Um, 38. That's not nothing. And a lot of belts. Some little bit of that, little bit more landfill, I guess. Wouldn't upgrading the assembler help? Nope, because it's not uh, constrained by the speed of the assembler. It's constrained by the uh, by the input of resources. There, a little bit more of this. There, that's all I can afford. And what's our... This is good, we have a little bit of that. I think we're ready to go. Oh, this one again was to get level 1. The Hive Cluster. Oh, we find me the Dark Fog. Uh, foggy. Hal Penny, thank you for the 200 bits. You know, Twitch is adding 10% if you uh, go for... Or 15% sometimes with 300 bits, but not 200 bits. Um, I know you're going to 
trying to start a, do you have enough fidget spinners? I have a hundred fidget spinners here. Try to start a train, but it is not getting there. Um right, so let's go to Gloom and Rage. Oh, guy in the cube, you are getting wrecked. Oh my god, you're so infected. Samu God, thank you for the ten months. Welcome home. Nothing there. I don't know how many we've shut down on coming in. Save guy. Yeah, let's do that. It's actually a good idea to sort of when you lift off, just take a save. Might need it for something. Ooh, Akira, thank you for the 26 months. We can get really far today, now that I think of it. Like, yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, heavy lifting here on, on this planet. Uh, maybe infected, but still, at least he hasn't caught any humans recently. No, not yet. I was about to say, is there a multiplayer mod? Uh, there's a multiplayer mod, uh, but I don't know if it's updated. The planet are named after people. The planets are named after people because they are the awesome people who won hype trains. So I named them after people in chat. And, ooh, Enram, thank you for gifting a tier 3 sub. That gets us a really good progress on level 1. We just smash into this. There we go. Oh, bounce. I bounced off the planet almost. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mm, nummy. I, that just means I've been really inefficient since it has built this <laughs> this giant stockpile in the meantime. Wow. Right. So when that fills up, we get more. Uh, I love how you love and hate how you bounce. Okay, and the, ooh, there we go. Snickhawk, thank you for the 1500 bits. And look at that, Twitch is adding 50, uh, 150 bits and we see Twitch is on the third position on the leaderboard. It might actually overtake Gloom and Rage, you never know. God Warrior, thank you for the three months. Lithor breaking? No. Uh, face breaking, I think is the technical term for it. Use your face for breaking. Um, so we got titanium. We got silicon. That's good. We could just go that back. But I think I'll take the other silicon build. And then use that dedicated here. See how much we can wrangle out of this small one. Find some copper nearby. All right. Well, here, I'll build it here. And then get some copper and some iron. And then we'll build the stuff. stuff, stuff. Yes. Easiest way is to do this, and there we are. So it's a level one hype train. Thank you. My two negatives about DSP mm -hmm. are that you can't get a gravity assist while flying. Ah, okay, that I can live without that. It's psh, orbital mechanics. Blah. Five. There's a six here. Okay. There's a five. Not get picky. Six here. I want to. It was so amazing yesterday with the ridiculous hype train, but when it happened, I was like, ah, oh, that's going to be taking away from. The rest of the weekend <laughs> obviously uh, we have something there uh, where's the copper do we have no cup it's all the way up there it's far away there's also copper down here but then i don't have iron nearby ah really Mr. Epic Hype Train, I might have to watch the VOD. Yeah, it was crazy. Sorry for repeating, but a reminder. First silica build is working only at half the capacity due to lack of build. That's true. That is true. And yet it's still doing very, very well. It's sure storm. Thank you for the 16 months. Been looking forward to the return of TSP for a long time. Time for a masterclass on fuck breaking. Yes. Or something. I didn't cover to these. We'll, we'll get it. That was true. This one was kind of running on fumes. Or not running at all, actually. More 
Oh, Schwammer, thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. Oh, something happened there. Amazing. Almost the level 2, and uh, I guess we have one minute, 60 seconds left, and there's two subs to the next level. Two subs. So we can get... Uh, if we get to level 4, then we uh, uh, c complete as much of the stream as we can. In terms of uh, sort of running to the maximum time I've allowed. And Ram, thank you for the 1000 bits and the Twitch with a 100 bits. But it's really Anram doing it. Twitch is just shuffling around the money we paid for uh, all the other things. Amazing. Up Smith Creek. Up Smith Creek. Thank you for five gift subs. Nice. Uh, and that was gifting forward from Anonymous. Nice, that's brilliant. And TSI Kelowna, thank you. The new, uh, newest Templar, one of the newest Templar with 500 bits. Thank you, Stormon Mormon. Thank you for 11 months. Ice Heart 66, 666. Thank you for Prime. New brand new Prime. And Daisuki, thank you for the Prime performance. Amazing. Wow, that's a. Bath class. Welcome Pro back. Your steadfast yeah. loyalty is greatly appreciated. Hey, so I'm with uh, Peter Jar with the 300 bits. Thank you. I just would really want to see Twitch being at the top of the leaderboard for, for no reason. It seems silly, but that means that means that there's many people that donated so that 10% of it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um. A new subscriber arrives. Paradise Snow with 200 bits. And a sure stone with 1,000 bits, and that gets 15% extra. Mm -hmm. It's 404 with eight gifts up. Ooh, it's almost a level three now. All right, where do we see? We have some copper up here. The copper is closest to this one. Where's the closest copper? That one. But then there's no iron nearby. Or I go up here and just put in this space, and then take the copper down and the that one over. Yeah, it's gonna be this space. This is the space. So I can get two lanes of two lanes in of sulfur, uh, of silicon. So that means one full lane of silicon. So that's what we're designing towards. And this is where we built this. Rolliferate. Yes. Swimmer, thank you for five more gift subs. Ooh, you're really carrying this train. Very, very nice. Thank you. Up to 95%. And Halpenny with a gift sub. Just kicking it over to a level three. Can we fully eradicate the, the fog uh, or will they always come back? I don't know. So far, we don't know if we can uh, dislodge them from orbit. That seems a little bit difficult. Okay, I know I have a blueprint for this. I always do. I have a blueprint for everything. Processor. No proliferation, unfortunately. Three per second. Yeah, I'm not going to build this because I need to build it bigger. Yeah. So we have to rebuild it again. One, two, three. It's it's a module. So we just built this module. We, we've done it a million times. So we should be able to do it again. And wow, more news. Oh, it's so cool to see the new subs. That's like five brand new prime subs today with this hype train. So good evening, welcome, thank you for joining. It's just hitting the midnight, midnight o'clock. Uh, Twisted Methods, thank you for the Prime, and Yakuro, thank you for your Prime, and welcome to the community. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to take my break. I'm not taking breaks during my hype trains. You know that. Okay, so these ones actually work at speed one for once. Terra Contra, another prime. So that's three brand new primes in a row. Wow. Welcome. Let's see if we can keep you engaged and interested. And Resta, I thank you for the four months. Ooh, Enram, thank you for two tier three gift subs. You do know that now the tier three gift subs and the normal subs, they give the same for me. So there's no real difference anymore. There used to be, but not anymore. Uh, because we achieved the Partner Plus deal. So, it's up to you. Evo, thank you for the Prime. A brand new Prime. Amazing. 
Oh, look at that. I just lured all the primes out. That's so cool. Uh, Chromo, Chromo is thank you for a brand new subscription with a tier one. Primo is running out. Resilant, thank you for your prime. Ooh, all them primes. That's so amazing. Thank you, everyone, and welcome to the community. Hackle, thank you for gift up. First gift ups. Be careful. Soon you'll end you'll end up like Bartha with four thousand gift ups to the community. Rivest, thank you for three months. Oh, Swammer, you're really owning this one. <laughs> hey, look at that. Five more gift ups from Swammer. Thank you so much. You're definitely winning this one. So if we get to level four, we max out the amount of streams we can uh, we can achieve today. But any uh, any additional will roll over to tomorrow. All right, so. Copper and that one. I think we usually do it like copper here and silicon out here. And this is using one silicon per second. So if I build one, two, three of these, that's all I can do. And freak 666, thank you for the 666 bits. And then Twitch figured out that that would be 134 bits. Oh, look at that. That's actually a double. That's a 20% bonus. Ooh. Weird. Uh, JS Wab Swaps. J Swaps, probably, for the Prime for four months. Want as long a stream as possible. That is super nice. So, um, 60 seconds left. If we get three subs, we hit the maximum mark for today. I'm homesick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I've been there. Not at, not at your home, technically. Tales and Anram, thank you for five gifts up. Switching away from the from the uh, tier three subs. You, you don't have to do it for my sake. It was just that if you thought that there would still be a difference from uh, doing it, then just know that that's not really the case anymore. Uh, let's see. Be s so 12 silicon... Three, 12, 6 copper, and then we need this one inbound as well. I guess I... Hmm. Okay, let's do this. usually build it in two rows, but this time I guess I do it this way. There. I think it's easier this way. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. And steadfast loyalty. Who was that with the steadfast loyalty? Jeporto, thank you for the four months. And hi, I'm Steve Rogers. Hi, Steve Rogers. Thank you for four months. Uh, I am in acute lack of powers. Oh, there's a there's a power we can teach over here. There was a question before about why am I not using these power poles for long distance. I don't do that in the beginning because they actually take power to build or to operate. But at this point, it doesn't really matter. But in the beginning, I kind of shy away from doing that. Now doubling in, you'll need it, but I don't have enough uh, silicon. Uh, that's the problem. Like, it doesn't matter how many times I double it. If I don't have enough silicon, I can't double it. Uh, I am using all of the silicon I have on the planet. The 400,000. Half of it just goes into silicon that we can bring back. And the other half goes in here to, to this. So as much as we like it, there is a uh, no chance. Right. So what do we have here? This one takes... This takes two every three seconds. So it's two, four, and six. And then it goes out again and back. Yep, and then that needs to be built as well. One, two, three. Because that can take, is it? 
So now it's nine copper we need inbound here. And then I need another line here for the iron, which only goes into these three. And that will be two, four, six. Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. Ooh, dim lag. Thank you for the 18 months. Why not use geothermals for connecting power grid? That's a good point. Uh, we now have them. So, so the reason for not doing it was because I, I forgot about it. I love the geothermals. Such a neat little thing that they added. I hope that Factorio also does the same. Something where we can get power from lava in a neat way, an easy way. I think the easy way here is the... Thing. Oh, right. 60 seconds left on the hype train. There's a modest 40 subs to a level 5. If uh, we get to a level 5, just saying, then uh, the winners get their names on future planets. Um, and if not, we still have a glorious level 4 hype train. Yeah. Multiple satellites reduces resources on the planets. Multiple satellites. What satellites? Hey, Lexi! PDM, thank you for the 1,710 bits. What multiple satellites? Level 4 hype train! Glorious! Thank you so much, Lexi and Swammer. You were uh, winning this hype train. Thank you so much. Uh, I will immediately, if I remember, add it up. We're not going to bed today. There you go. I'll keep you entertained, Swammer, all night. Come door. Thank you for three hundred bits. Oh, the moon. Oh, right. Okay. So you mean like. Um, if the starter system has moons, I, I don't know. I don't don't know. Is it like the total thing in the system or is it... I, I have no idea. So uh, I am not... I'm neither confirming or denying that uh, rumor there because I have no clue. Ah, let's see. I think I actually want this one to be... Oh, reverse path. Did you see me use it? What kind of white cube production is endgame? For example, I was doing 75k per hour, but I have no idea what some people, I assume hundreds of thousands. Uh, I don't know what I was doing. Was it doing, I was doing 30 per second. Is that true? Yeah. Yes. So yeah, it's it's pretty good. Uh, 100k is a full blue belt. Okay, yeah, yeah about. Yeah. So 75k is nice, but it's also like there's a little bit of discrepancy on how you count. Do you count like how many cubes, the white cubes, uh, or do you count the signs? Because white cubes is just the input. Okay, let's get this one done. I feel I'm. Oh no no no! Let's get my break done. Cool. There we go. And I will be back in two minutes. Uh, thank you all for joining. And thank you for that glorious hype train. Surprising. Be back in a bit.
I just ran into a little midnight ghost uh, who wanted to converse a bit, but uh, alas, I did not have time for that. It still took a little bit of time. Such as it is with ghosts. There. Yeah. Let's get this one knocked out. Uh, that one. Hmm. I should have built this one instead. When do I start using proliferation? Because uh, this is kind of something that really would have liked to be proliferated. Now I just need the stuff inbound. Yeah. And we already have that. So let's copy it from here. Hey, hello, Deltrus. Is there a reason you're building this system without room for proliferated use? Yes. Oh, you just mentioned. Yeah, because uh, right now it's not so much about efficiency. Uh, these are just builds that need to get going so I can start getting my stuff uh, in here. Uh, so it's it's definitely not a, not good builds. And I hate that, that the fact that's the fact. Uh, our modest fellowship um, expands. Praise the sun. Praise the sub. Corp Clegg, thank you for the gifts up. Yeah, so I I think oh, uh, I think that generally generally I like proliferation. I think it's a great feature, and I like using it. Um, but and you know that was coming. Is it really worth building, spending time on proliferation when we are honestly just building some really hacked builds? Then I build the build that's gonna last for a couple of hours and oh uh, the next part is also how do i proliferate stuff on a planet without coal then i have to import coal to this planet you right that's that's just not great have you ever built a full sphere Greetings from Hamburg, Germany. Yes, I have. Greetings from Copenhagen, Denmark. I did like putting, I like direct insertion. Yeah, I I agree that direct insertion has a, a charm and that charm just disappears because it's bad because of uh, proliferation. Like you can make a nice build that uses direct uh, insertion and then realize Ugh, it's not, it's suboptimal because of lack of proliferation. I agree. But I still think it's good to have it, and it's a neat way that they've added complexity to build. <coughs> Sorry. This one doesn't need much. I just need a little bit of iron, just a little bit of copper. Mm. Let's do this. Part and yes, we don't need this much iron, but let's get it. Is 
Is that going to be powering everything? Apparently it is. Good. Yeah. And a few of... Yeah. And let's see. So this... Let's do that. That should be good. And that's the iron done. And then I just need to get the good copper from all the way up there. But I'm going to cheat to cheat uh, to copy this one. Is this true? No. It just doesn't work. I might as well build it over because it, oh. times we built this pattern here but there's something nice about this movement and that just justifies the whole damn thing Should connect all of this, right? Yeah. Hey, did you choose the seed or just random pick for this run? Um, I chose the seed. I spent a little bit of time. I have uh, three conditions. First is, <clears throat> I want a fire ice, uh, an ice giant next to us. I want to have uh, uh, this, and then I want to have a lava planet closest to the sun, not a Gobi desert, because then we can use the thermal. Uh, thermal power, the whatever thermal. Um, those are some of the conditions, and then I was just looking at the location here, and then I realized that there were two planets closer. That means solar panels is going to be good on the third planet. Usually, the third planet is way out, so I was like, "That's a good one." That was all I, I looked into. I only need one belt here. Let's get a bit overdone. Let's put some more power in. Yep. And then we need to make sure that it's actually connected. Yep. Whew. Okay. <clears throat> I think that we're finally getting somewhere. Need some storage? My number one requirement is an ice giant, so I usually avoid any sea with fire ice. What? Fire ice? Avoid it with the fire ice. You want the fire ice. Hmm. 
New items can specifically fire tumblers. Ooh, what? Uh, okay, so this should be working now. Except, of course, it's not brought in yet, so... And then I need to store it in big storage boxes because you can never have too much of this. And then I am actually going to spend a little bit of time just flying back and forth. Yeah, so that's fine. This will be eventually set up for something. Uh, oh, right, proliferation. Signal tower for new build? No, I have a signal tower here. Uh, it's, but that's actually really cool. Like, the signal tower is the defense. Doing that, then all of this is defended. That's insane. Spend a little time to make ILS. Uh, the problem is I can't make the ILS before I have a ample supply of this. Because if we look at it, then the ILS is the pink containers. Pink containers. We got a little bit of this. So I think this is what we want to build next. Go back and build, build pink containers. Um, but this awfulness is annoying um so we need to make titanium alloy pink containers once we have that we can make the ils uh, the pls yeah it's it's tough right so i need to grab whatever we have here um but obviously it's building pretty quick but i'm not going to just sit on my hands and wait for things to be done uh so i'm just instead i'm just roaming around on this planet which is a complete mess by now I think we'll bring, not titanium back, but just all the silicon back. That's the idea now. Part of the game is when I need to make organic crystals and sulfuric acid before I can mine it. Oh yes, absolutely. Completely agree. That was the like, worst part, but yeah, it's annoying. Um, so, I think we're ready to head back. Let's make sure... Ooh. A decent match. You are our destination. Uh, do we have fuel? Yeah, we, we're good on fuel. I forgot to put stuff up here. Damn. I forgot to mm, prepare a place to drop this off. Where we at? Okay, we need a little bit more. How do we... What happened? There were 40,000. Exactly. We're going to get 40,000. This time we can try the robot port. Yeah, but I don't think it's going to be a good idea. Because it can't pick up any uh, everything anyway. So... I don't think we can get much better out of it. <clears throat> so, uh, that's titanium taken care of. That's silicon taken care of. It's not iron and copper taken care of. And it's not... Uh, uh, what is it called? I don't know. Mm, processors. Processors are the, one, the most annoying things. And the rest of the stuff we can get. Wait, did the combat system come out? Yes. Uh, yesterday it did. Vayar, thank you for the prime. Welcome. Thank you for joining the community. Splash. Oh, I'm underwater. <laughs> Running around with 40,000 in hand. No way, you're holding 40,000 silicone. Not silicone, because that would be... Uh, that would be something else. Silicon. Not the same. Not the same. Quite a difference. Oh, bam. Thank you for Prime and welcome. Thank you so much. There. Well, that's a little bit. Not quite enough. And... <laughs> it was bound to happen. Let's build this here. Hmm...
And it's not even enough. This is not even enough. Because now more stuff is underground. Oh no! Everything underground. Oh yeah, they, that doesn't work. Uh, this one, how big is it? 30 slots, it's half as big. Okay, so that doesn't work. <laughs> Everything is awful! Okay, we, we, we might try this, uh, this one. Let's try this. Let's see what happens. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's not awful. It's not awful. Hmm. And I need some more stacks here. That's it. Done. There you go. You're done. Not awful. Uh. Can you put it? There was a something about the bu uh, a bug that said that you could put you could do it, but you're not supposed to do it, right? Oh yeah, someone uh, took all our junk. Yeah, it's not supposed to. <clears throat> okay, so how do I make sure that this is uh, priority? That one is a little bit of a shame to have there. Funny how you'd use more when going in and out. Yeah. get in here priority from this side and this one will just get a no it doesn't need anything there because I don't want this this should be just feeding in here good and we have now actually our localized production of that is actually starting up again good Kind of insane to build silicon so far away uh, if you're getting it by hand. I know, but I needed to go into my rudimentary process of build. That's why I put it there. And it will also be going into this one where it will be where the hats are located. So, you know, kind of, th there's kind of a point to it, but I'm not going to be like making a strong argument for this being particularly effective. So, that's, it's a thing. Cool. Um, titanium processor we can kind of set silicon is good so now we need to start working on the two remaining things that is the pink containers and the titanium alloy I think he meant putting the storage box on top of the battle station what? the storage box on top of the battle station are you what? what? can you do that? that's just now you're just getting silly ah 
You kidding me? What is this madness? It gets even worse. Can I then put this on top? No! No! This is so stupid! This is so stupid! Oh, the insanity! <laughs> it's... Alright, this goes in my document of, uh, of thing tips and tricks. Um, storage on top of battle station and um, hat on top of that. That means we actually can use this. That is so cool. The Tower of Hats. Yeah, this one also can filter what it wants to auto pick up or not auto pick up. This is getting more and more interesting. Finally, some verticality. <laughs> yeah, does it stack? <laughs> like, hmm, I wonder if I. But. It... I mean, I don't think these can ever get stacked because they go up and down. And thank you. imagine having assemblers stacking on top of each other and they're all sort of synchronized so they all go down and then the tower gets half as high. That would be weird. Does the hat get access to it? Yes. <laughs> They're getting excited again. Yeah. Ooh, putting things, the department of putting things on top of other things. Mm, they are having a field day. Hey, what about liquid sword? Oh, yeah, let's get absolutely silly and see if you can put a liquid sword. I don't, I doubt it, but you know, I also doubted that would work. Nah. Too much. Too much of a good thing. Why is this so a big deal? Because it's so weird. I mean, I think it's really nice that you can have, like, the battle station, the fact that you can't put a hat on it mm, is a little bit of a shame. But the fact that you can put this and then put a hat on it means that you suddenly have access to hat the battlefield analysis station. And that's pretty cool. I don't know. Is it super useful? I think that it could be used for... Um, um, not really anything. <laughs> well, yes. So I would, I would use a. Uh, <laughs> I would use a box with a hat on it to request missiles in, but now I don't need to. I can use the battle station with that stuff, and yeah. Auto planes, exactly. It auto replenishes turrets. Auto replenishes. That's it's pretty cool. Uh, get the materials from the rebuilding. Are they not connected to logistics already? Uh, so Conrad, the thing is, when I put down a blueprint, it gets subtracted. It, if it turns green, it's already subtracted from my inventory. It just hasn't been brought out there. So you could say that it's it's taken out of my inventory, and whether it then comes from me for Icarus out or it comes from a battle station out. Um, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, like, where does the material come from? And the answer is, it doesn't really. Uh, Daft Battle Stations picks up potential Dark Fog farming areas. Yes. What I guess what you could do is set a Dark Fog area and then get those replicator thingies, the, the interesting new, new thing that they drop, and then filter for those, and then those will be sent back because they might have a use. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I, I, it's a little bit, oh, why did this one stop? Um, it's a little bit, I don't know. Oh, this is completely dead. Not even just a little bit dead, but just completely dead. I think we need to rush uh, getting stuff here. I have one iron deposit that we haven't tapped. That's really far away. Um, but I need to get it. See, this is the part that I hate at this point where I know that I shouldn't be doing this, but I have to do this because, you know, 
don't really have a choice if I don't have any uh, materials. Where was it? I can't even see it. Maybe that one. Hmm. This one. It's a long way to run. There it is. Lovely. So lack of items. Uh, possible to upgrade? No. Supply iron by a fidget spinner. No. That's a... Uh, it, it's too low quantity for, for that. Oh, look at this. It's actually filling up a little bit. Nice. Um... What? Oh, it is not empty. I thought it was empty. Ah, give us lights in this damn game. Why Why do I have to run around in darkness all the time? And by the way, shouldn't half the day be during daylight? And it's always nighttime in my world. And this feature is connected to other ones, which is great. No matter how silly it looks. Yeah. Yes. I don't feel that there are a lot of disconnected features. I think you just have a little bit of a grudge on uh, on Dyson Sphere. You you see the the things that are missing, uh, while uh, fanboys like me just can't stop gushing about how awesome it is. Mod, uh, there's a mod for making your light more powerful. Oh, cool. Oh, did the other one get built with Mark 1 belt? Silly noob. Ah, no wonder I didn't have anything. It was not at all the right location, but that doesn't matter. It's this one. Just running around, just getting the last little bits of this. I don't think we need any more iron for what is remaining of uh, what we must build here. It's a good one. Must get that one. Having not all locations or all of these uh, tapped is uh, always bad. Uh, our illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. Welcome home. Who might that be? Uh, it's Elgo Vulva. Thank you for the nine months. Uh, where's the power? Oh, here's the power. What? Power! How do you have a million side pads so early? Don't know. I, I pave everything. Um, you also get soil pile from killing enemies. Yeah, the other end patch looks untapped. Yes, I'm going to save that for a rainy day. And there sure as hell will be rainy days around here.
So this is reinvigorating, hopefully, our processor. Let's keep an eye on the processor and up here. This is where we'll build the last two remaining things that we are uh, eagerly uh, desperate for. Cool. So the first thing. Why is... How did they lose their recipe for me? Okay, never mind. And Delta Six, thank you for the prime and welcome. Good, let's try again. Uh, up here. I think this one is everything we already have. Uh, pink containers. Yes, yes, and... Copper? Copper, yes. Copper is even worse than iron, I guess. Oh, wow. I know where we have some copper. I know, you know where we have copper? Somewhere here. Didn't we bury some copper underneath something? No, that was my test. That was my test playthrough. Phew, good thing. Hate doing that. Because it will always be it. <laughs> um, there. Aha. Oh my god, this is bad. I'm I'm all, sorry for backseating, but a large part of the belt from Iron Deposit is still Mark 1. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's uh it doesn't need to ugh. It's annoying. I, I get that. Oh, that's so far away. Okay, let's build it here. This is a beautiful place. We are so desperately out of things, but this is because we're playing at 0.5 and I have a little bit of a thing for just going a little overboard on infrastructure. So. Well, this seems like an excellent location to build our <laughs> new location or new build. Uh, it will consist of four of these little things. That's all we have. That's the 40,000 we have left. And that's it. So we really want to sort of uh, expedite the progress and this one will be one per second, which isn't much, but on the other hand, like, it's one per second. It's something, right? It is absolutely something. And just get, you know. That's something inbound. That is something else inbound. That's the two inbounds. And then the copper comes over here. And then we have the outbound. Yeah. Which just happens to go into another splitter. And we'll let this fidget spinners do the heavy lifting here. Inbound, 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 outbound, outbound. Oh, you know what? I could just take the copper from here. I have copper in a fidget spinner right there. That's so silly. Eldros, uh, hey, Ineos. Does the hive never try to put a new planet or a minor thing on your home planet after you destroy it the first? I noticed in my game they haven't come back to my home planet, so I'm wondering if you know for sure. I think they do. Um, they did in my uh, in my test series, but that was in a slightly different version. Um, that was the test version right before go live. There are some differences. So I would think they would do. You know what? I actually don't care about this. And it, it seems really weird. But um, I'm going to be fidget spinning the copper inbound. I can't believe I do that. But whatever. Um, right. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, all right, what do you want? You want graphene. Uh, remember to just get like one stack of each. And this is the... I 
este. Have anyone figured out why things are moved around in different, different uh, uh, overlays? They have different things. There we go. Ah. As far as I can see in this playthrough, it seems like Dark Folk just wants to have specific amount of colonies in the star system. And since we kicked them off the planet, all the colonies relocated to the end, end. And when we colonize it, they will send more attacks to our planet. I think that might be a th that could be a thing. Let's have a, have a look at how many. Oh, you are just, you really wanted like this one. Oh my God, you are so infected. But they keep sending here, but when we get there, they'll be level zero. It's like, eh? why? I wish we would get a warning if they send out uh, something like a relay station. I have caught once when they send out a relay station. That was at the end of my uh, starter video. Uh, when should I destroy the plant survey? I mean, that depends on what you want. Okay, so if you just want peace and quiet to build the game, just destroy it in, in, as soon as possible. And the answer is missile turrets. Mm -mm -mm. Um, then you just have peace and quiet, close the, close the door. They will have uh, no problem for the rest of, uh, of the time, I think. Um, but don't shoot the relay station. Just only dislodge the planetary base and then close it and then the radio station flies back if you want to get free resources then what you can do is you can um you can set up a perimeter and then let them spawn and then let them attack and then you clear it you get free resources they grow in power and you have a little more inter interaction with it or if you just really want to piss them off then you shoot the relay station and uh, then bad stuff happens right It'll be on the same level as the hive one day, level one. Yeah, maybe. I think that makes a good, uh, that makes sense. That they start at the same level as the hive, that makes very much sense. Uh, what I actually think I want to do is make this. Oh, battle stations. We need more battle stations. Well, well, well. They're easy to build. Uh, we have this over here. A little bit. A dash of steel. Uh, we have that here. And... Whoa, why is that one not coming in? Zero roots of eight. It doesn't even say that it's out of range. It just says zero roots available. I know it's a little bit far away, a little bit far away, like, but it's still, it's probably because it, I forgot to put a hat on. Yes, no hats. And then it says, distribute to others, out of range. Curse you in your short range. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Then let's protect this location. And HS Gaming Group, thank you for the five months. This is a cool setup, this one. It's really simple and it just... There's a lot of power, so uh, they are not set to upper air, <laughs> but they're set to space. So basically what this does, it, it's, it says anything that enters in this range will be attacked by anything that is also in a signal tower range. You need missile towers anyway. As far as I found, you only need radars. Um, yeah, that's... 
that feels it feels weird right it feels weird that i wouldn't need that it it has like these have range of 4200 meters in space but what is that is that does that mean like you could just build one cluster of of missile turrets and they will reach the entire planet or should you still sort of spread them a little bit out because if something comes in then range and stuff like that uh, it took over to, to one yeah that's a while ago because of space attack could wipe them all out at once yeah In real life, you'd need at least three to cover all the space around the planet, right? Mm, I don't know. I don't have uh, that kind of expertise in uh, anti-space battle weapon things. But I think it's a good point to have a few here and there. Like, this seems like also a good place to have it. And then we can just hope that we can, uh, we can reach from here. Because if we do something stupid, like aggro this one and they will send in some ships to kill us then having a few of these turrets means that anything that comes in will yeah it it will still shoot but it will also not keep shooting it'll shoot once and then be deaded and that's not because of the signal tower signal tower is only for a sort of landing nearby out of range Sadness. Do you need missile towers everywhere? Size so around your only layers. Yeah, that's it. Delay in travel time. So even if they cover the entire large attack might. Yeah, so I, I do want them spread out for sort of also other precautions and stuff. Um, That person can't reach anything. Uh, that's true. But the answer is... Is that these fidget spinners are just so limited. Urgh, I need that. Oh, activate. 800. I think I have 800. Kind of close. But we're going to get the yellow signs soon. Um, Yeah, this one is kind of sad. So just give it 100 rockets. Yeah, that's got to be something, right? There we go. 200 rockets. Let's get the other one 200 as well. Then it should be good for a while. There. Good. That we have something and it's covering mainly. Oh, this is interesting. So. No, that actually just happens to be exactly the same range. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we pretty well covered. Um, but do we need turrets at each location? No, we don't need turrets at each location. We just need, like, ideally we would sort of find a way to say, maybe we need, I would think something like four on the Northern Hemisphere, four on the Southern Hemisphere, and then we have eight clusters. We're pretty well covered. I think that would be great. Don't the signal tower have to be connected? Not with each other. As long as it's one signal tower, then they communicate with all the other signal towers on the same planet. And then if if anything gets into the range of one of the signal towers, all the other signal towers will communicate to any um, to any missile towards in their range to shoot at the target, even though it's way out of range. Attack from another star system if you destroy the hive. Uh, I don't know how to destroy the hive, so that's kind of a bit of a moot point. Right, so at this point... Oh, look at that. We're actually stacking up on this one for once for finally um so i think it's time for us to get this in here mm -hmm. okay let's see um titanium alloy kmit thank you for the prime and welcome we oh, this also looks cool this like a sturdy structure this needs to be close to that brilliant it's very close and then it needs to be close to 
titanium alloy. I don't know. It's, it's, it needs to be close to right here. I don't care about this. And I, I hate not caring about this, but... I need 12. That's it. And this is a little bit of an annoying build. Um, so fire acid, we get that. Steel, we get that in, and we get that in. Okay, the other ones, we... Yeah, this is the easy one, because that comes in. Like that. Let's build something. I think the thing that I missed the most in, uh, in Dyson Sphere is custom, uh, like, being able to just have hotkeys. Because this whole idea of pressing 1 and then the F key is just not something that is intuitive for me. And I don't think it's intuitive for anyone. And yeah, maybe you can remap them, but... Hmm. It just... Like, for example, it's still consuming the... One, one F1 is still going to be useless now. And 1F2 is also going to be useless. So I have to remind myself to use 1F3 for the majority of the game. Why couldn't this just be hotkey 1? But it can't. So that's uh, my little gripe with that. You will sense a certain level of desperation in uh, the stuff I do here. Um, and that's because we're a little bit desperate. Surprise, surprise. We are really running out, so I need to get going on a lot of things. Let's get this one. Yeah, use Q to copy. Yeah, I think uh, most people, the shift, shift click. Still a little bit left here. Got it. So these two will be the two inbounds. Um, Got it. And here, let's get some spinners. So you are going to be requesting steel. One, oops, one box. You, you'll be requesting titanium. And you will just be happily distributing to anyone who cares that. How much? A little bit, but not too much. Um, did you want to proliferate? I didn't want to. I, I, I'm not proliferating anything with these kind of builds. Um, I have completely forgotten about proliferation. And it's a mistake. And I completely acknowledge that. Yeah. I did want to proliferate these because they're awful. All right, so now it's working. And I do think I can make this build here. There we go. All right. Oh, science is, uh, science is dead because lack of yellows. Bounce. Ah, didn't have enough yellows. Halfway there. Uh, to proliferate ammo manually. Oh, really? Is that worth the ammo proliferated? What does that do? More power? More, uh, more damage? I'd love to get yellow science. Let's have a look at yellow science. Uh, I don't think yellow science needs anything that's super short supply. It needs coal inbound. Let's have a look. Let's uh, let's uh, pass through this one. Um, this one is titanium and the organic crystals. And this is just diamonds. That's just that one. Okay, so that's just coal. So we need coal and we need titanium and we need the organic crystals. And organic crystals, we can make that from 
stuff. Good. All right, so it's time for us to make our yellow science build. And it's going to live right here. Right here. Yes. Cool. Again, not proliferated. I hate it, but start a yellow plus proliferator. But this requires some... Oh, yeah, this one also assumes something else. Oh, this is nice. But it also just simplifies a little bit. It assumes that we are getting something inbound that we're not. Um, yeah, yeah, it assumes that we just can request sulfuric acid and organic crystals, which is not something we can just do. So we still have to have the build for it. So it's taking out all the hard part. The hard part being this part. Hmm. I think I want to do it this way. Now what? Collide with other object. Who is that other object? Oh, there. There's no other object. Oh, it collides with itself. It's one of those that can't be built close to those lines. Oh, it's one of those. It collides with itself. So it has to be built at here or here. Maybe, I wonder if it can be built up here. Let's try. Oh, I need a vacation first. Yes, let's take a vacation first. Look at me and my flying capabilities here. Yeah. Right, short break. And then we'll be back. And then it's yellow science time. Oh, excellent. Woo! Let's <laughs> just shift and don't see what happens. Eh. And this one and my... Be back in two minutes. Welcome back. Now, most important thing, top of all the other important things, is of course uh, getting some yellow signs. Because if we can get the yellow signs going, then everything is just going to be awesome, I think. All right, let's see. This is, it's in this location. I hope it can fit here because I'm wasting all of my, oops. Precious, precious stuff here. Oh, 
Oops. Ah, oh, this needs blue inserters, which I don't have, and it needs, uh, of course, uh, that one. Uh, I don't know why I put it down yet. <laughs> I knew I didn't have it. All right, let's get this. I need processor. Please let the processor almost stack up here. Oh, it's so close. It's so, oh, hold on. Did, no, I didn't bring a processor. I have a little bit of processors, fine. And then I need a little bit of titanium. And then I need a little bit of steel. And then I realized that I have maybe just a little bit too much in terms of belts here. And then I need a little bit of pink containers. Done. And then I can now build that too. <laughs> it's what we can do for now. Uh, didn't you want to do iron logistics? Uh, no. From what are you going to build the science? Uh, fumes. Basically mainly fumes is what I'm going to build it from. So I need four for the yellow science. And then I need four more for the interstellar logistics. I think. Carry 200 mana seems a static set. You'd think so, but once we go to the other planet, we were supposed to go there and build some iron logistics and stuff, but... Oh no, we know something else that's missing on the hub. Oh, drones. Ah, oh, that's more processors. Are you kidding? And they need thrusters. Hmm, this one can't be here, can it? It's two inbounds, I don't know. Not right now. Now, right now, it's going to be thrusters, and then it's going to be here. Those absolutely have to be done now. Oof. Don't need drones to ships. Uh, that's even worse. That's even worse. Yes, that's even worse. Um, I do need both, but yes, that, you're right. But those are, the ships are, you can have 10 in each location, so it's a finite number, but the, the drones is something we need to have continuously built, because we are going to need to have it anyway. I'm getting distracted from my distractions, as usual. Alright, I kind of lost track on this one, so... Um, copper and steel. That's these two, right? Yep. Yeah. Carbon steel goes in. I think I need a little bit of thrusters for something, but I don't remember what. And iron, that's the first one. And now I got distracted again. Do I ever want to use these? I don't think... I can't imagine I'd ever want to use these. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. You don't You don't need to. You just don't deserve a spot. You are less valuable than the water extractors. <gasps> okay, so that is iron. And then the last one is mm -hmm, the elusive out here. That one. Like this. Perfect. But we're going to come back with a ton of uh, processing units soon on the next trip home from that location. Okay. You are finally working, doing stuff. Uh, 
I might need to upgrade the belts. Have you tried the implusion, implusion cannon? No, I have not tried the implusion cannon. I know that's what it says. Uh, let's get to 200 at least. Okay. And let's see. How many do I have of the these two? I have four of those. And then I actually want to make... Uh, hold on. I also needed what? Um, 20 chemical plants. Now I can go back to the stuff that I got distracted from. There. And I also need this, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need that or something. And do I have... Yes, I have that. And I'll just have to downgrade the belts. Yeah. And I will then get my helper. Collide with other stuff. Mm. Okay, let's get you out here. So you're not going to build unless we actually feed them in here. That one. And then I'm going to downgrade all of the assemblers by one. Downgrade. Only sorters. There. Good. There we go. Sorters. Also those. <clears throat> Will you still build the Make Everything Hub? Yes. Um, I think I need to make the Make Everything Hub because there will be so many things that require stuff I don't want on the bus. Uh, that's my logic right now, at least. All right, so let's build the other one and hope that it doesn't uh, implode in on itself here. This would be fine. At the, it's not a lot of space here. Good. So, let's build the other one immediately just to see if uh, it. I love that it says still works. Good. So, all the stuff that's missing, good. Um. You're going to be building something if we can get you in here. It's not... Is it powered? It's not powered. So let me... Uh, work on the power pole situation. That one. That one. Is it powered? Now it's powered. Yes. Good. And it can work. <laughs> Considered gambling. I think any number with one... I don't want to be a billionaire. So I, I'll, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm good. It, it seems like billionaires are generally assholes. So I don't know. It Maybe it, you have to be an asshole to be a billionaire. Or being a billionaire turns you into an asshole. Either way... 
Don't think I need. Good. If you can, you can afford to be an ass. I mean, that just kind of implies that you have a desire to be an asshole, and then it, the only thing that keeps you from being an asshole is the the sort of the repercussions. Which might be true for billionaires, like, oh yes, I can, I, finally I can just be as big of an asshole. And then you realize that people don't like you. You're like, ah, I don't care, I have money. I can buy new friends. Like, yeah, you can. <laughs> buy an entire social media platform just to have friends, except it's not the really the nice people that end up being your friends. But that's fine, because you're also turning into a giant shithead. Why is there a star with a weird name? Oh, I saw something a few minutes ago. Well, I did explain um, that um, if anyone deserves to be a star, then it's certainly a star in the community. This dude, not only been a master of the path for ages and ages, but also a tier three sub, just today hosted the uh, uh, hosted the new hype train tracker, the build support, and all of that stuff, and also yesterday donated a hundred gift subs and didn't even win the hype train for it. So, you know, if anyone deserves it, I think we know. And by the way, the hype train tracker seems to work flawlessly, but I guess you haven't heard from me is good news. Hey, Grant you, good morning. Good, mo good evening, whatever. I, was like, I thought you said good morning, I don't know why. Right, water, don't care. Uh, yes, do care. Um, I can hide a little bit in there. I'm, I'm wondering at least the first hour or so and seems to work. Awesome. Well done. No news is good news, except if the stuff that's not working is your communications platform or your communications uh, protocol. Like we've just installed a new uh, um, warning system. It'll warn if there's anything wrong in the system and there are no warnings. Like this is why you need an everything okay alarm. Uh, you tried to answer my question yesterday, but I already left to bed. Yes. Um, can you just ask a question now? Because it's a bit of a, it's a little slower now, so I think I can keep up with your questions. Um, so, but I, I can kind of remember, but also not really. Water pumps. Swing by up. Okay, so here we need that one. That's something we can do. Uh, this is output and crude oil is going to be input. So we'll have to wrangle up some more crude oil somewhere. The sound of the everything okay alarm is the same as when there's a problem. But the difference is that you won't... Oh. You won't really hear the everything okay alarm. So it, it you won't mistake one for the other. How is this not a liquid source? Oh, it is a liquid source. It's just turning the wrong way. Ten of those bastards. By the way, there's no reason why they should be going into the location. It's just for visualization of what is needed inbound and outbound that I did it this way. Um, this part. So now, oil, you say. Hmm. I, st I know I still have oil. Oh, I have one there and one there. That's, that's nice. Oh, cool. I have three nearby and also some there. Okay, cool. Um, I wonder how much I need. Oh, that's not available. Damn you. That's not available. What? Well, these are available. 
one, two, here, and that's also available. Okay. All right, all right. We'll, we'll get that. I'll also get this one, right? Oh, no, I won't, because that's uh, already way too busy. And, you know, I have zero of those. Alas, go back again. Oh, I uh, grant you, how does the drone tower grab your items from your inventory? Ah, it doesn't. Because as soon as you stamp down a blueprint, everything turns green. When it turns green, it's already subtracted from your inventory. So it's technically already out there. You just need you just need the drone to go out there and sort of screw the bolts in and stuff like that. So whether it's my drone that goes out there and puts it in or it's another drone. So as soon as it's green, it's subtracted from inventory. When it's white, it's not subtracted from inventory. That's the rules for it. Yeah, this is not really uh, a lot. <laughs> uh, does it mean you can place a blueprint anywhere, then fly away, pick the items, and hope that it's built? As soon as you place down the blueprint, if you place a blueprint that's far away, then it will turn white, because, and then it won't subtract it, and then the um, it won't be built either. So this one won't build stuff with the yellow, uh, with a white marker, only stuff that's green. Or if it's white, then you have to put the items in here for it to build it. So you don't get any free items and there's not really any way to sort of abuse it. So, sort of. Uh, that one. She builds with the new Mark IV assemblers. Are there Mark IV assemblers? I didn't even know that. Really? Cool. This is really in the middle of nowhere. And that's also in the middle of nowhere. Because like YouTube, this update looks amazing. Thank you. I mean, I think the update looks amazing, not not my video. That video is actually performing quite well, and also my start of my Let's Play is also performing uh, quite well. That's very nice to see that uh, there is. We need to find that communicator and see what it's about. There. Pretty high for space combat. The space combat is so cool. It just doesn't work, but it's so cool. And I know it's, it seems weird to say it like that, but it is really cool. And like the look and feel of it, mm, so amazing. Like it, it looks and feels excellent. It just doesn't work very well, <laughs> which is like, it's super ironic to say, but unfortunately that's, it's true. What doesn't work? It, the thing is, like, you fly up there and you engage and they fly around and dogfight, but you just don't kill anything. And you kill, you can kill one and you can see your, your covets engaging and they shoot and it's perfect. And they're going, all right, next one. And they swerve around and they attack the next one. And by the time the second one is killed, the first one has respawned. So you're not making a dent. So you can fly around all you want, but yeah, it's, it's what it is. I think we also want that one. Buffer on the Aldrin. Mm, no, I want to put a buffer closer to home. Or closer to where it's needed. Hmm? You placed the belts in the wrong direction. I did. Okay. Any noticeable change in performance? No. It's uh, still early game, so nothing really pushing in terms of performance here. 
It's a waste of good space here. That one is helping. Thank you. They're helping out a little bit. I don't get what what belt that was placing in the wrong direction. It's, it does seem like the right direction. It's coming from there and going that way. Did above the Dyson Swarm Sales. I remember them being kind of atrocious cost game wise. Oh, they're not. They're definitely not. You just have to build more of them. It's, it's, I also remember thinking exactly like that in the beginning. And then you go, well, actually, if you just think about it and how long they last and how much power you will actually get, hmm, you know, it's actually a pretty good deal. It's, it's a production, you can kind of, I think it's because you, th the fact that they don't last forever means that it, uh, they're like, oh, but I'm going to lose them. Then that kind of sucks. I don't want to lose them. But if you really just think about it, like, you're also losing the coal that you put into the coal power plant, so. Oh, that's so close to being incorrect. And when you have so few, exactly, it's not a good deal right now. So right now it's better to build solar panels and then just be done with it. Um, but uh, when we have fire ice, then it's getting pretty cheap. Also saving. Once in the blue moon, we also save. Yeah, the only problem is ray receivers. Absolutely. Ray receivers, like you build the Dyson form and you send it up there and then go like, awesome. Oh, shit. Now I need ray receivers everywhere and they don't really work very well in the beginning. They're actually kind of underwhelming in the beginning. The solar sails are fine, but it's the ray receivers that are really difficult to keep working without the graviton lenses. And that's a little bit much to get. Cool. So... So far, so good. Oh, right. Didn't I say I want... No, I, I said I wanted, uh, like, a storage, but I have a storage now. Um, so, coal. Yes, coal here. I have another coal, and I just need to make this part. Hey, look at that. I actually don't have to... Uh, to blueprint this again, or to build it again. I can actually remember to blueprint it. Let's build it here. Uh. That comes from this cold location. Actually, I'm going to do this. Why can I not delete it? That's so odd. Okay, and then I click it. Oh, no. That doesn't work. I have to build the whole thing before I can... Oh. Oh, everything is awful. Okay. That was okay. We we've now tried that once, and uh, that'll never happen again. <laughs> I'll fix. I'll fix later. I'll I'll forget about it then. <laughs> and wonder why it doesn't work. Three. Six, seven, and then the last one is the. Yeah.
here and here and there, right? Uh, they doubled the lifetime. They are feasible from the beginning. Yes, they they are actually really good. But I think the rave receivers is main problem because you need to find space for the rave receivers on your planet, and then realize that they're not going to be covering the whole area. And yeah. All right, I'm going to have to build the whole thing and then flip the direction and then patch them up. Flip. Flip. So calm, doesn't the dark fog attack you? Nope. Uh, we <laughs> yeah, we spanked the dark fog. It uh it it's it's learned a less its lesson and it's now it's very docile. What it's uh it's decided instead is that it's gonna be friendly with Gyna Cube. It's just sending stuff there all the time. And look at that. Very much infected with four uh stuff. And we even shot something down from uh, from orbit before it landed on uh, on probably on Gloom Enraged. So yes, it is a little bit too docile right now. At least for my liking. Good. So doesn't this actually mean that we have all we want? You are, you're good. And this comes in. Yep, at full belts. Let me get the plastic. Yep, plastic is working. I love this build. This is such a nice build. And then the organic crystals are made from plastic. And lo and behold, glorious amounts of uh, organic crystals. Yay. <sighs> a good sub does not, does get very docile from a good throw spanking. Well, I don't know what, not docile, but more uh, um, invigorated. Let's, let's go with that term. A good sub. Mm. Yeah, I really wanted this one to be right next to it. But let's continue here. Yeah. Finally, PLS, time to sleep. <laughs> ah, the relief. So, uh, I really hope that it goes that way. It does not. Can they really be built this close? No. They can be built this close. Ooh, we forgot that. What are we missing? Uh, the insiders and 16 of those. Why not? That's weird. Why? It doesn't say. Oh, it says out of range. Never mind. And we're going to go with the upgrade or technically downgrade here. We had a chest with the Gunning Crystal somewhere. Yes, I'm also going to be throwing that in. <clears throat> oh! It was in range. No! It was in range over here. It just suddenly started uh, flying towards me. That was odd, right? It was... Where is it? Oh, it's, oh, it's kind of the other way. Go this way. There we go. This is range. So just stay quiet here. And... Um, this one requesting is a little bit silly. Oh, we need more of this. I forgot. I forgot. Mm. Let's try and figure out. The 
Let's try and figure out how much of the graphite we're using for the first build if we still have something remaining. So it's for the plastic. I use one and I have 12 of them. So I'm using all 12. Damn. There we go. Good. Taking only this. Mm. Home. Is it 0.3 graphite per second per plant? It can't be 0.3. And who is that? Isom. Thank you for the 24 months, two two years. It's. Oh, uh, it's one every. Third. Okay, yeah. So I have. If I have 12 of them, and I only consume four. So I should have tons of uh, extra here. Yes, that's also what we see. Good. So I'm going to sneak it by. Sneaky, sneaky. You know what? I don't want this. Sorry. It's just awful. Oh yeah, hold on. Wasn't there a really cool way to solve this problem? Hmm. <laughs> That's nice. Nope. put a box on top but that's about it and then I need titanium here for the other one and this Also, really weird. And this is then the titanium. And a box and a fidget spinner. This one, this one, this one, and that's titanium requests. And you coming? Yes, you're coming. Mm. Why are you not flowing at what the? Oh, really? There we go. That was weird. Uh, this is working. This is working. This is working. Uh, I think I might want just a little bit more of this. I don't think I can keep up with this. What else is Yes, wind turbines. Uh, what else did you miss? There are logistics chests now. Um, there's been logistics chests for a while uh, here. Oh, you're very much not there. Oh, right. I think I know why. Because someone uh, <clears throat> cut off the water.
Oh, that's a really uh, annoying place. But that doesn't work here. That works, but... And can you actually do this? Hmm. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. But that doesn't matter. It has to be here. Steadfast loyalty. Who is that with their steadfast loyalty? Big bad matters. Thank you for the four months. Thank you for your steadfast loyalty. There. So that was why it wasn't working. And this is flowing. And I think we got it under control again. And this I don't need either. Because this will now go... Uh, no, not yet. So, it's time for us to upgrade. And then we have to look at the blueprint. Because there's something we have to upgrade before... I think one of them was... Oh. Lack of item. Okay, let, let's just do that one and pretend that that's a thing. Cool. Um, then I also need to... I know I need to upgrade the sorters. They are... Alright, let's have a look. Polar Science Lab. Can you not pull items from the hats from the other side of the planet? I can't remember. This one. Before next upgrade, upgrade quilt mark 2 to mark 3. Uh, oops. Add extra matrix lab height 13. And it's also proliferated at this point. 13. 13? That doesn't seem correct. Let's look at the fidget spinner. I can't remember if we can do that. I remember you can do it from PLSs, but can you also do it from here? You can. Nice. Of course. Well, that's not 13, but I don't think that matters too much. Yeah. Okay. So the next deal is that I have to upgrade the belts. That sucks because I'm not really in the belt upgrading mode right now. Oh, before Nick. Ah, oh, right, right, right. That was the wrong thing. You're absolutely right. Thank you. Yes. It is here. Upgrade belts to mark mark one to mark two. Okay. Upgrade sorters to mark two to mark three. Add extra height seven. That looks like seven. Two upgrades. They start in three plus two plus two. That's pretty much seven. Awesome. Thank you for the prime and welcome. We are building an army. Uh, okay, so upgrade sorters to Mark Three. That I have to do. I don't know. Have I become slightly less awful at the flying, or is this just uh, easier? Ooh, how is it? Wait, it's just a few of these. Then I can just manually do that. I know we need to do it at some point soon, but... And the belts upgrade, that should also be done. Okay, so I will be upgrading, because if I don't do this upgrade... They will be weird. And this is Mark 1 belt, and then I'll do the belts. And I also kind of forgot that I wanted this. Oh, IDs of March should come up with a color for this. This is completely useless, but important. Okay, now I... Oops. <clears throat> I suspect I have to take this out for it to work. 
I know you can hold shift, but I don't want to upgrade this part. Then it, it's kind of a long belt. And I know it's only going to be in build range, but I didn't want to upgrade all of it. It's just the part that needs to be upgraded for the blueprint. So, uh, Polar Sign Tab. Uh, oh, this is it. This is so... Yes, that's what I say. Here, okay, so this one has to be trimmed a little bit. I think it's to here. Yes. Flawlessly perfect. The funny thing is this one, I have to build this here, otherwise it doesn't work. And this one is requesting <clears throat> proliferators. And you know what? It's probably a good idea to get proliferators here. Yeah. Ah. Um. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, demand? That's, that's one hell of a demand you are pushing here. This really just needs proliferation. It feels so bad to not proliferate this, right? Yeah. Just a Mark II proliferator. That's I, I know I have a small proliferator built here. Self-proliferator. That's a cute one. Self-proliferator X2. Um, I'm going to need to find some coal first. There's some coal here, but it's kind of busy. All right, let's... First and foremost, let's have a look at coal. Because we know we have tons of idle locations left that haven't been used for anything. Also would be nice if it was somewhat nearby. That one. That could be in range, right? So let's make it here. Cool. There, and I... There. Is it working? And a little bit of this. Oh. Hey, Esom, thank you for a gift sub. Praise the sub. Proliferator. 2x proliferator. I have no idea what's going on. You'll notice when signs up, you need to connect. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. Um, it was actually intended. Ooh, we're down to zero concrete here. Uh, I'm lost. There, here. Let's see what the hell this is. Um, upgrade, facilities, there. Mm -hmm. I love this self proliferator. That is so cute. And then I just put it in here and get a hat on it. This was designed in a time before hats were invented. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. Let me take a guess. Oh, you can't guess. Oh. And distribute to other ones. There we go.
I refuse to get less than five on this one. I must have five. There we go. I think this should be enough, right? Mm, let's get another one. Okay, uh, this will be self-proliferated eventually. And it's got little ticks on it, there we go. And these are only two. And we'll just send them through again. There's still only two. Oh, right, because they can only be two. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Meant to be two, yes. So, uh, one available route. Okay, and that is already being taken out, so that should be getting up here. Um, I'm going to... Yes. Get this the old-fashioned way. Cold belts. There we go. <clears throat> I only have three blueprint books, blueprint books from people other than me, and one of them is a Ravisu blueprint because they are pain, and one is Nilos. Ah, right. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, let's see. So let's get this. There. Ah, uh, hold on. Let me see. Because this one is going straight in, which means this only makes sense to go here. So the yellow one has to go the other way around. I think we'll take this. Oops. Yay, I think it works. So now the yellow is running and it gets proliferated as well. Ooh, glorious. And <laughs> looks awful this part. But it's not like we can support 12 per second anyway. Ding, 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 ding. That's the sound we like. And that is not a massive amount of yellow signs coming out, to be honest. It's not 2 per second for sure. So, where does the hold up? Oh, it's this one. Oh. Huh. So, this just can't keep up. It's actually not a surprise. There's always 120 inbound. Hmm. So that's distribution range, but it doesn't do anything. Logistics. Oh, hold on. Uh, logistics bot. That's that's ours, right? That's a logistic bot. And logistic drone bot flight. Oh, it's flying faster. There. Cool. And one more. Okay, so these are important. Uh, ooh, why do we have water on my belt? You... Why? Why why is it full of water on this belt? That makes no sense. It and it just started. What the hell? Oh, it's titanium. Why do we have titanium on this belt? Can you just stop that, please? Oh. Well, I guess you want titanium. That's nice and all, but uh, why? I think I know why. 
stupid copy paste. Yeah. Funny how it just didn't matter because I was it was in trouble anyway. Yeah. I needed the uh, silicon anyway. Splitter settings wrong. No splitter setting. It was it was just requesting it. Okay. Well, that explains why things were a little bit off. Well, not really. This one is still very much off. Let's see how much it actually requires. Let's see. This is four. So it's four of these. So it's three per second plus 12. So I need 12 per... I'm going to just say that this is because there was some residuals that were coming in. Hmm. Yes, that's my story. It was three per four seconds, yes, and there are four of them. So it's three per second plus three per second. So I need six per second inbound, and that's a little bit too much to expect them to be able to support. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, maybe a second splitter box. I really don't like that idea. Um, I, I understand it, but then I kind of... like The idea of this is this is for low quantity items, so anything that it can't keep up with, you shouldn't be doing it this way. That's my logic. It's not a good logic, but it's kind of what I can do. Um, what I can do, though, is start doing this one. It gives one more capacity, and this one gives 10% more speed. And, you know, it's it's kind of something, and this one's something, and this one's something. But was there something else we really, really wanted? And uh, not really. I don't think there's anything we can't live without ooh, an attack drone i can't live without an attack drone can i uh, yeah pink containers i think i can live without the attack drones for a bit i don't have anyone to attack supersonic missile set oh because of course i need more missiles the thrust of dynamism massively accelerates the missile beyond the speed of sound a missile set contains 25 24 missiles mm. wow Wow, wow, wow. Uh, I know I have a break. I'm just curious now. What about this? Okay, so it's the same set, a 24 set for a, for a missile set. Wow. The high mass. They give plus five capacity. No, they give plus one capacity. They give only plus one capacity. So this is, they have six each and there are 10 here and 10 the other one so it gets an extra 20 capacity so it goes from i don't know why it went up there that's weird no idea all right i'm going to take a break we have yellow signs that's excellent so i think that um we need to now build two ils's here and two ils's on the other place and then some uh rockets to fly back and forth with why do we oh there we go 14. Cool. Two hours more today. Whew. Can we stay awake? Hope I can. Be back in two minutes. Uh, there. Two minutes.
waking up with uh, the sound of completed signs. <clears throat> so let's see. Now that we'll get a little bit more. 42. Woo! It's 51. Oh my god, it's just rolling in here. I think we'll just accept that this is not going to work as fast as we'd like. <laughs> Boo hoo. Uh, we'll get it. And we can proliferate it. I could do with lots of weird things. But I think that my main point right now is we have yellow signs. It's kind of working. Awesome. Now, um, yeah, fill up the chest once manually. Maybe that's... Just a little bit. We can do that. Um, run a belt. I don't bother with the running about. We'll just fill it up once manually and then uh, there. I'll do it this way. So I should still get going. I want to get rid of the blues in my inventory. Yeah, that one. Good. <clears throat> so this is fine. Um, we can now, the point was that this will just continue working, hopefully. And then I can go to the other planet and build the stuff. So I want ILSs. Uh, that means we are going to need some of this. Ooh, could I could I make a oh hello Cole? Could I make a little fidget spinner build that makes PLS and ILS? That would that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Because it's kind of the same thing. Ah. Uh. Ooh, crap. I had forgotten about this. Ah, I had forgotten about this. Ah, oh, oh no, I forgot. Uh, I don't even know how, how to solve that. Hydrogen power? Yeah, right, okay. Well, I didn't really want to do that anyway. Ah, uh, fly down here. There's some hydrogen power here. I don't like using this because it's a one-time thing. And the other one for the red signs is, uh, was a problem as well. Oh, that might actually soon be a real problem. Yeah, let's go get some. Okay, hydrogen is fuel power what? Nine megajoules. So... Calculations. 9 megajoule times 12 per second is 108 on a belt. And then only 80% is used. That means 86.4. And then each of the power plants is 2.16. That means I need 40 of those. Good. For one full belt, which is obviously been way over built. So let's maybe get 40 thermal power plants. There we go. Isn't better on rods? Yes, but then I have to craft the rods. Um, and it's not that much better, is it? Because it's 10 times, 10 times nine is def distinctly more than nine, I mean 54. So, nope, it's not. And I'll put two rods. Ah, oh, cool. Then it is worth it. But I want to be building it in a quantity that can support all of that. So. I want five. And then I go this part. No belts. Here's now. That doesn't work. Oh, hold on. That's not going to work. It's over two different uh, areas. That's not going to work. Is it really this slim up here? Yeah, it is. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't really make it better than this, I think. It's too much curve. Twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. 24 uh, something more 27 maybe <laughs> and uh, Robs thank you for the brand new subscription welcome must be my overwhelmingly uh, superior counting that uh, lured you in Thirty. 33? 36? There's no point in getting beyond this. This is already too much. Oh, look at all that glorious copper that's just sitting there waiting to be used. So power that up. Uh, the It'll help a little bit. Do you have enough edge to it? No, I don't. But it's also not using all of the time. But I can do this thing. And then at least I'll get a warning when it starts working. So I will be saying the cycle. And I'm going to target flow is zero. When it's greater than that, it's a pass. I'm going to scan for hydrogen. And then I'm going to get a global alarm when there's pass failing and failing and no cargo. And then it'll be a power plant building. There. That's the wrong one. I wish there was that one. That's the mini fusion. Where's the where is it? There. Good. I don't think it'll be completely empty for a minute. That's a good point. So that's a that's a really good point. When it's less than Sixty in a minute would be what? That would be ten per second. If it's less than one hundred. Two hundred? Two hundred. Yes. It's currently full belt, so it's less than I don't know. When it's empty it'll complain. They could be just out of fuel. They could also be out of fuel for sure. <laughs> they are out of fuel for sure. Yep, this damn thing. Ugh. was like the first thing we built so it's a little bit fragile but let's see what we can get out of it working
That's my stream deck again, deciding that it's too late to stay up and be stream decky. I guess that's that's what that's all we can do get from this at this point. <clears throat> oh, somehow you decided that you didn't work now. Yeah, we need to get to the other planet and oh look at that. That could actually be more coal for look at all the beautiful coal that's not being used for anything. Weird. Always like coal that's last thing that's being used here. Hmm. Hmm. We're in graphite now. Yes. Why not use power cells again? Because the power cells are not actually better. So that was <laughs> a little uh, mishap there. I thought they were better, but they're more compact. Uh, they're more sort of energy compact, which is good for the for me, but they are not as efficient. Rosie Hoser, thank you for the 15 months. When did stacking storage on splitters become a thing? About a year ago. Um... And power is now probably okay. And yeah, so back to the stuff I wanted to make. And that was a, uh, where was it? It was over there. <clears throat> like a tiny little build that just more coal. That coal is the only thing we have left here. All right, so I, I wanted a tiny little build. You will be making that. And that has to be output both into a box and it also has to be output into another one, which will also be output into a box. And this one will now be making the PLS. PLS. So <clears throat> that is the same and everything else is different. Oh crap. <laughs> So, the only thing that's the same is actually here, but I That doesn't work, right? You can't do this. You can do this, of course you can. Um, which means we can also build a blob here. So this will go into both. That's the only thing. And then you just need One, two, three, four items. And you need just one more item. 